What's going on, everybody? How's it going? Goom? Mrs. Thanks All everybody right. for being here. Happy Monday. Happy, happy Monday. Happy Monday after vacation. Let me tell you. Yeah, it's even a, yeah. It's, it's, I, I would imagine that's probably a it, happy but not happy it was, Monday. It was, it, was a little, it was a little rough getting up this morning. It was it was a little rough <laughs> getting into it. What's up, Bagoom? How's it going tonight? I, it was it was a little rough going to work. Hey, um it was it was it was cool seeing seeing some of the coworkers, but uh it was it was a little rough. It was a little rough. We had a good time though. Yeah. It was uh it was a good trip. We um we went up to like North Georgia in the mountains, saw some uh, oh, nice. waterfalls, and yeah, it was it was nice up there. It was uh it was nice and cool. I mean, cool for us. I don't know what temperatures <laughs> do you guys have now? Um today it's 88. Oh, well yeah, cool for oh. you too. Cause we were yeah, we had like yeah. mid sixties to mid seventies, like oh, all wow. week. Yeah, it was awesome. It was that's awesome. Nice. But yeah, that's about that's we're in the eighties, upper eighties here, nineties here too. 92 up there yeah it's 98 right now is it really 98 outside? it's been so hot and my air conditioner is still broken so i'm really still oh, really man. not happy yeah they're supposed to come out thursday supposed to come out thursday if they don't come out thursday i might yank it out throw it in the back of my truck and take it to them because i'm i'm a little upset oh, yeah. a little I'm a little frustrated <laughs> a little frustrated army mike what's up buddy hey, i saw army you mike. i saw you farming earlier saw you farming um <laughs> Yeah, no, it was a good trip. It was nice. Uh, it was very, uh, it was very, very chill. Nice, relaxing vacation. And on the way back, I got to stop by Micro Center, which was mm -hmm. which was fun. It was good. I, uh, yeah, you I don't have love one. It. You don't nope. have one near you. Yeah, Atlanta's too. my closest yeah. one. Yeah, six hours my, away. Yeah, yeah, my, mine's dangerously close. Yeah, <laughs> see, I, that's what I, I, I like. Part of me wishes. That it was well, I mean, a big part of me. Like, I absolutely wish we had one, but I was kind of like, I don't know, man. I when I go up there, like the because they work on commission there, right? Yeah, right. And and so mm -hmm. usually when they come up, I'm like, stick with me, buddy, because this is gonna be a good day for you, right? Because I'm like, I'm here to spend a grip. This is my once a year trip, so I'm you know I'm I'm ready. But uh, yeah, it was it was good. It was yeah, it was pretty cool experience. Oh yeah, oh yeah. They they like they to hang out. They, around, yeah, yeah, they see the cart full. Cause like you know, it's like I I I do the PC stuff and I look at the peripherals and upgrades and things like that. But I'm I'm also very much into electronics and making and stuff. So all the Raspberry Pi and the the engineering kits and the soldering tools and the the reflow stations and like all of that oh, stuff. Yeah. I think is is really awesome. Like I, so I I usually end up over there too, um, and it's it's just uh, I could spend all day. I wish they put one down. Like I tagged them. Like I, I straight up tagged them. I was like, look guys, if you need someone to run the store, I got you. Like I <laughs> like that's my retirement plan. I'm gonna open a micro center down here, and it's it's just gonna be awesome. That's I would love that. That would be so good. Oh yeah, that'd be great. So if, if uh, micro center uh, CEO CFOs in chat, you know, get at me uh exclamation point socials just uh hit me up you know <laughs> but no it was good though how was uh how was your weekend oh not too bad not too bad did a lot of did a lot of watching of some stuff on streaming services nice nice yeah. and ended up ended up watching that trilogy on netflix the fear street trilogy. oh yeah, yeah yeah i did not know what to expect going into it right and because I I don't know anything about the history of the books, but it's based off of an R.L. Stein book series, who is responsible for Goosebumps. Oh, I did not realize that. Books. I didn't know that until I was just about to start watching the movie, and I'm like, if he does that, then it's going to be some like you know, watered down for kids type of stuff. And yeah, it was a hard R for gore. Like it was like. 80s slasher movie no kidding glory. no kidding yeah, it was it, they were they were good they actually they did a good job in connecting the three movies wow that's yeah. awesome and they, I, it almost feels like it was something that was meant to be a series and they're like well we'll give you movies right and, and they like compartmentalized parts of the story so it's like three acts nice but it was really good though it's definitely definitely worth checking out Interesting. Interesting. Uh, Chess says you're coming through choppy, but I, I don't know if that's... Let me check my Discord real quick. 
uh, and just make sure it's you sound great on your end. So it's definitely something on mine. Um, before. Yeah, it's definitely something on mine. unless unless uh, your discord goes through a different microphone than same, the same mic. Okay. The same exact mic. Okay, cool. So I, I'm going to double check that. Ian. Okay, let's see. But yeah, no, I, I, I think it's good. Yeah, actually, uh, I think the missus was uh, the missus was going to um watch that weren't you weren't you weren't you talking about the the 80s one because it's what it's like 60s 70s 80s yeah you want to you want to watch it yeah it was it was a let's see first one was 1994 second one was 1978 and then 1666 oh nice oh right right yeah. right right very cool yeah, yeah, yeah if you want the better <laughs> if you want the better quality mike yeah follow mike over to pixels channel 100 <laughs> percent <laughs> Um, but yeah, yeah. as a series though, it's, I would I would highly recommend it. It's worth watching, especially I mean, if you already have Netflix, there's yeah. no loss. You know, that's awesome. Definitely give that give it a watch. Nice, nice. That's excellent. Sure, finish Orange is the New Black first. Orange yeah. is the New Black was very very enjoyable. Yeah, that's tough. Hey, Jerica, thanks for the sub, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, let's see. Let me do. Uh, let me check one more thing. See if we can if fix this. Uh... And we watched. Yeah, I mean, it was a big. It was a big movie watching week. Yeah. Watched the new Space Jam. Oh, I haven't seen that one. I haven't seen it. What do you I, think about that? So many people are hating on it. Yeah. But it's not going to be. It's not going to be some award-winning film. Yeah. You know? It's. it's like, oh, well, I'm disappointed because it was a Looney Tunes movie because that's exactly what it is. Yeah, it's 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 it's, it's Looney Tunes, man. Like, what do you do? It's, and I, I actually got to say, I enjoyed it way more than I expected to because I actually I like the original. Yeah, I have I have fun fun fondness for the original, and this one it was good. It was good. Nice. I like the I like the original too. I enjoyed it, and they acknowledged the original happened. So it kind of made it like uh, all okay. the more for it. Oh, very cool. That's I wondered how they were gonna if they were just gonna try to reboot it or you know, mm -hmm. actually incorporate it into like the universe. So that's that's kind of cool. Yeah. Thanks for the bits, yeah, it, was, it was pretty fun though. I mean, I mean in the fact that I mean it's it's right it's aimed at that demographic because video games. That that's the the whole thing in this it's supposed to be in cyberspace. And they play a video game version of basketball. Right. So it's basically NBA Jam Arcade, like is what they're playing, and like power ups and all that stuff. So it was kind of it was entertaining when he got to it. But oh my gosh, the crossovers to the other Warner Brother properties. Yeah. It, it made the movie. Oh, it, that's it awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Uh, uh, yeah. I, I would recommend that once again if you have that service HBO Max. Yeah, watch. mine as well, right? Mine as well, yeah. huh? Interesting, yeah. interesting. Um, I... really tunes, but weird issues with cartoons mixed with real people. It's. I think it. I think it plays better because it's a real person in the cartoon world, not the cartoons in the real world. To to me, that always comes off a little bit easier to digest right right thanks for the bits with doom thank you yeah i um i don't i i liked the first one and i'm so the the michael jordan lebron debate mm -hmm. always comes up right and i'm 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 total michael jordan you know like i'm i'm oh yeah 100 percent jordan so it's like this is gonna be tough for me to watch you know um it was gonna be rough it's, it's it's yeah i am i am jordan uh, jordan over lebron oh no right right uh you're talking uh, about yeah i'm the same way jordan jordan was you're talking about in discord because i think we're in we're in pixels discord let's take a look uh, so so he has to drag me out of the channel or Okay, so take me out and put me back in. Okay, you're gonna have to turn your video back on. Okay, when we do this. Yeah, that's cool. What's up, Ethan? We're just doing a little troubleshooting uh, Monday. 
So technically speaking, there I jumped past channels and came back. Okay. Uh, let's see how it goes. Ethan, how are you? Thanks for coming in, man. Uh, I'll be honest with you too. So I'm on a I'm on a stream rig tonight. That's that's only gonna be here for tonight. Like after tomorrow, I'm, I'm switching stream rigs again. So, um, if it doesn't work, everybody just go to Pixel's channel. Uh, and then, because if my audio is coming through good on his, then it's it's definitely something on this rig. Like I literally set it up yesterday <laughs> in a fury. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, right. Yeah, we're rocking rocking the face cams. Rocking the face cams. And uh, no, yeah, you're right. I mean, like they got rid of Happy Little Few, but they put in the what is it the the droogs from Clockwork Orange, the gang. Oh wow! Really? Yeah. That's crazy. In in yeah. Space Jam. Well, it's because of the crossover of Warner Brothers. Yeah. So it, they, they exist. They're not like center stage. I mean, I... they had. They had. They, I mean, they had, they had a whole bunch of other characters from other stuff too. I mean, heck, one of the big things is a uh, uh, Mad Max Fury Road scene oh as well nice oh that's cool that's cool but yeah it's a it was it was a it almost felt like a ready player one basketball movie oh wow really <laughs> yeah it's, it's wow. where they, they, they touched on all these other properties they all exist wow that's awesome huh i can't i you know when i'm like a clockwork orange and Looney Tunes. I don't know. That's that's crazy. Well, <laughs> I mean, they, they, the characters exist there, but they're basically they're basically just spectators at the basketball game because they bring in all like all these other Warner Brother properties to right. the stadium. Right. So as the camera's going around, you just see all these characters, and I've watched it. I've watched seen it twice so far, and you're looking and seeing who you could pick out in the audience. Oh, nice, nice. You know what, what characters to wear. Oh, uh, that's very cool. That's awesome. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. They changed Lola. They didn't, uh, I, mean, I liked. I, I had no problem with the new Lola. Oh yeah, they they uh, they toned Lola down a little bit. Yeah, that's funny. Uh, I've had this one for a little while, Ethan. Uh, this was my birthday present, um, from the missus in January. So I've had it for a little while. But yeah, it's good. It's good. I like it. Uh, okay, yeah. so I think I think that's as that's basically as good as it's gonna get on my end. Um, if the audio is bad, though, hundred percent, go switch over to Pixel's channel, um, and and we'll, we'll we'll get it back at one point. But uh, make it, yeah, just a gamer. Yeah, I gotta make a PC. But I actually don't even feel like it was a move in that direction. Yeah, like I. I I think when people piled on is that's what they're claiming the issue was. It just, I don't know. It just, it her redesign fit the world better for what they were going for. I don't know. That's interesting. When you, when you actually see the movie, it, it, you, it, it's, it's the furthest thing from your mind when you're watching it, at least in my opinion, is they, I, I thought her character fit fine. Yeah. That's, I do want to check it out. I will. I will 100% go check it out. Like I, I do want to. I do want to see it. Um, we uh, we we stream some things too. We looked some. We uh, we watched a couple of, couple of um, uh, decent, decent things. Well, while we're on streaming, you want to just talk about some of the some of the streaming stuff we were going to talk about anyway. Sure. sure. Okay. All yeah, right. Because I mean, we're talking about the stuff yeah. we watched. Yeah. Uh, so a couple things I, I saw, I, I did watch Black Widow, um, this past weekend and I gotta be honest with you. I, I liked it. I, I liked the movie. I, I thought it was good. I thought it was. So here's the thing. I, I liked, it was a great Marvel movie. It had, it had action sequences. It had fighting sequences. It had, uh, you know, good banter back and forth, good characters, but it was it was years too late, man. It should have come out right after Civil War. It would have been such a 
better movie like not a better movie if you if you just take the movie for what it was it was a decent action movie it, it really it really yeah i mean it just it was it was a good action movie it was like whatever um i think the banter back and forth between the sisters i think the 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 family dynamic and it was it was good i i think it really it really did some things i think it just should have been right after civil war i think it should have it would have been so much better if it came out in the timeline um hey ethan thanks for the sub i appreciate that um but i i also think that it would have it would have done more um it would have you know things that happened in you know infinity war and endgame would have been more poignant having seen that movie because like what what do we know about romanoff you know like we not much you know like you know if, if you were just watching the movies um yeah yeah there was there was parts that dragged on uh, but i well i don't know i don't know i i kind of feel like i feel like it was a good movie i felt like i was i was engaged and and uh it, it definitely enough action sequences to keep me keep me going they didn't go on too long and the the wife was interesting or was interested in it so i really didn't think she was gonna even but even she said it was better than expected so let's say that but that was uh that was good now we went last night to the to the movies uh i had to check in on my company i'm still holding on to that amc stock by the way um so still you holding on to it still you holding do. still holding baby <laughs> so uh had to had to go support my my company and uh so we went and saw snake eyes um yesterday so you, you haven't seen snake eyes yet have you i have not seen snake eyes snake eyes um so so snake eyes is new so we're not we're not doing any spoilers or anything say, unless, unless they did a complete switch i don't from like a bait and switch from what the trailer showed i it's not snake guys it, dude i tell you i the character is not snake guys it was so here's here's what's crazy okay so so if you grew up with gi joe all right so so here's the known facts right okay so snake eyes and storm shadow you know they grew up together right they're 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 both trained in the same style of martial arts and fighting so they're like they're like the the polar opposites of each other right right um so it's it's a cool dynamic for gi joe right in the gi joe universe there was a point almost three quarters of the way through the movie i'm thinking oh my god have i been thinking this was snake eyes and it's really storm shadow the whole time like have i have i had them backwards have i had them mixed up have i like like and i'll be honest with you if they would have gone that route it would have actually been a really cool twist to the movie and might have been interesting to do but <laughs> dude i i uh, i so so again not giving anything away i don't want to spoil a movie because it's so for a for a, a a martial arts movie great movie like there were some great fight scenes it was it was cool it was it was done really well i would say right up until about the last 15 20 minutes of the movie snake eyes was the villain and storm shadow was the good guy and and not just in their what they were doing on screen but also like uh their their motives and how they were acting and it was like I, it was like, man, it was, it was just, I, I don't know. Like, I'm like, this is, I, that's exactly what I was sitting there saying. I was like, this is not Snake Eyes. Like, this is not, I, I was like, I was so taken back. And then, and then within the last 20 minutes of the movie, you arc from being totally opposite of what we've all known for 20 years to the way we've known it for 20 years. Like, it was way too fast to try to spin everything around and, and do this crazy. It was, I don't know. It was, I liked Black Widow better than I liked Snake Eyes, which I didn't think I was going to. I really didn't. It was, it was crazy. Um, so, not, I mean, I, obviously I didn't see the movie, but not to, not to throw gasoline on a fire. Everybody can have, have their own opinions to this. This is just an observation. This isn't me passing an opinion. And, and, and I know you know where I'm going with it. Yeah, probably. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in 
in this new era of proper casting for characters, right? The whole thing now is the person has to be the right ethnicity. This is like true. Character. This, this is true. Is said, said ethnicity, right? Right. Snake Eyes was miscast. This is if true. You go if you go by that regard. This is true. This is true. Um, he was he was brought in. Yep, hundred yeah. percent. He was uh he was a uh, an orphan, uh basically a little white kid that was orphaned and and was brought mm -hmm. in and raised. Um, yeah, it's it's untwisted tea, untwisted uh su <laughs> southern southern sweet tea. Um. It's my it's my my untwisted tea <laughs> in my in my uh, witch witch cup, which uh, this this uh, this podcast is not brought to you by witch witch. I'm just throwing it out there. So, um, yeah, you know, it's like in the in that like we're talking about with Space Jam, you know, it's like people are constantly tweaking and doing things and, and shifting things around. And it it, mm -hmm. it it didn't it didn't wreck the. It didn't wreck it for me. You know what I mean? Like right. like uh, Sam Jackson playing Nick Fury, who was a white guy in the comics, right? Totally mm -hmm. didn't wreck it for me. I think I think Samuel L. Jackson played a great Nick Fury. Like, uh, and I think the guy that played Snake Eyes, he's he's an, he's an excellent martial artist. You can tell that he mm -hmm. he performs and does. You know, and he did he did really good in um, uh, it wasn't in Mortal Kombat too. Um, let's he, see. He might not have been. I thought he was in Mortal Kombat too. Uh, might not have been. No, though. actually, he no. He wasn't. According to this, he wasn't really. He wasn't really in anything. Yeah, that, the new one. Nothing. Nothing, nothing of huge. Wasn't event. in it. Wow. I thought. I thought maybe it was. I feel like yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the one that just came out. But he wasn't. He was in Crazy Rich Asians. Yeah, yeah. That's where. That's where Michelle knew him from. Um, but he did. He did. He did a it, again. So in the, in the aspect of making a movie right it was a good movie like you, you know if if it wasn't if they weren't trying to force it into the uh uh gi joe universe might have been i don't know but then you don't have the clout that comes behind it you know it's like a lot of people right, that went and saw right. the movie saw it because it was gi joe because everyone loved everyone loves snake right. eyes yeah like just game nerd he was my favorite too like i love snake eyes snake eyes was awesome you know and it was like so i don't know it's i guess i guess let me let me re reset my position on this is more of cast whoever you want for whatever role I'm fine with it. Right. These are movies. These are all fi fictional characters. Right. I, I think that's fine. It's right. more of I have the problem with the reactions from the the media yeah. and from the people that clamor about one thing but then not about the other. Right. Exactly. You got to you got to do it both ways, right? Why did, why did the media not blow up its like Snake Guys was recast as yep. an Asian actor. It's like, you got yeah. You got you got to do it both ways, right? Yeah, that's, that's pretty much more my observation of this all. Is I'm like, until until I saw the trailer for it, I'm like, oh, oh, they went a different way. Okay, right, right, right. There was yep. No word or any, not even no, nope. no nope. hint of any and, issue with that. Yeah, yeah, and it's and it's it's interesting the way if it were to go the other way, um, there would be oh, yeah. there would be a lot of outcry, you know, well, and it. Actually, since we were, we were just, and and this this is more, you know, for every, everybody here in chat, it's like we're not taking sides or stances. Yeah, no, no, for sure. It's simply, simply looking at the situations uh, as a whole. Hundred percent. Okay, so as far as the casting goes, like that, you put you put an Asian actor in what should have been a Caucasian character. All right. Originally was done up as a Caucasian character. And, and a fictional character, right? Right. And you, since you were just talking about Black Widow, Scarlett Johansson's movie, right? Prior back a little bit with um, uh, what was that? Uh, Ghost in the Shell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Of a white female, right? Took the role that others thought should have been to an Asian actress. This is true. This is true. And that made headlines all over the place. Right, right. 
So it, it's it's just very interesting. Yeah. How... Yeah. Um, I'll I'll give you one for me personally. Um. Uh, yeah, Dracula. I loved to yeah. Gel with her in it. Yeah, that was great too. She did good. She did like I don't think that the it, you, you, when you switch mediums, when you go from a comic book to a movie, when you go from a from a book, from a novel to a movie, it's very difficult to. I don't know. It's it's difficult because you're never going to make everyone happy, um, because I don't know. You're always going to. I don't know. You're never going to make everyone happy. Uh, I'll give you one. Uh, so for me, uh, they, they, they talked for a long time about uh, Idris Elba being the next James Bond. I don't think yeah. he should be James Bond. I think James Bond should be James Bond. Now, do I not like Idris Elba? No, I love him. He's one of my favorite actors. Like He's, he's awesome. Um, I love everything that he does. And let's be honest, if he did end up getting cast for James Bond, I'm still going to probably love the movies because like, I love James Bond movies. Um, but I don't think he fits the make of Bond. And then they, there's also conversations of having a female Bond, you know? And that's, that's to me, even further. Like, I don't think the character can be female. Like, I, you can't have a female Bond, James Bond. You can have a female 006, 00 whatever, you know, right? But they, yeah, that's true. They did it with Doctor Who, you know, that's true. And and I'll be honest with you, I wasn't a Doctor Who fan. I, I mean, I, I've never been into it, but I could see, I could see where people didn't like that too. And some people didn't. No, people, some people didn't, people, weren't a fan. People got, people got ridiculously upset over that. All right. And I, my, my whole thing was, it's like, let's see how she does. Right, right, right. The season one was a little lucky, which the first season of a new doctor usually is. Sure. Because they find their footing. But yeah, I, she, she fits the role. I, I, right. I, I, I like her. I'm right. fine with her. As a right. Doctor. And that's, and that's so many, so many, so many people stick to their just preconceived right, notion right. of this is how it needs to be. Right. Yeah. And I feel like, I feel like my initial reaction is, I would not like, I would not like a, a female or, or even a non Caucasian male playing James Bond because it's different, you know, because it changes my mindset that I have, I have seen with every Bond movie that I've watched, right? However, I think if you, if you watch the Bond movie with whoever, and except females, females a little tough for me. That's a little tough for me. That's, I don't know. I, that, that would be tough, but I'd still give it a chance. You know, I'd still get into it. I'd still, I'd still watch him. Um, I, I, you know, Nick Fury was, was a great example. Nick Fury was, dude, even in, in the video games that came out just before, you know, Iron Man and stuff, Nick Fury was just a regular white guy, like whatever. But, um, Sam Jackson was awesome. I think Samuel Jackson was freaking great. You know, I think he, I think he played an awesome Nick Fury. Um, yeah, yeah, they're definitely. It's uh, even, even the fact of the the casting and changing of stuff. It's the way that they're going about it. Right. It's, they have to, for for lack of a better description, they have to turn it into a dog and pony show, saying, "Yeah, this is what we're gonna do." Right. We're gonna, we're right. Gonna, this right this different way because of this yeah how about just how about just cast them in a role right right it's not about it's not about casting the best actor or actress to play the role it's about right. checking off boxes and then who can we get of the best that's left that fits these boxes and it shouldn't be that right. way it should and right. and in all things in life and it, it shouldn't be that way in professional sports. It shouldn't be that way in, you know, there's so many, there's so many things where it, it should be, you should judge a person. And unfortunately, and it goes, it goes both ways. Someone should never be judged because of how they look or how that, you know, and, and it's, um, it's crazy to think, uh, it's, it's, it's weird for me to think that still happens, you know, especially somewhere right. like Hollywood that is so, um, they're so open. I don't want to say liberal because people have put a bad connotation on liberal, but they, but they're they're very advanced. They're very progressive in their in a lot of their thinking. And to think that it's like that's still kind of a thing that they feel the need to 
to push it to like force it down your throat uh I, i'll give you a good one for me um um yes sam jackson's wonder woman i'd do it i'd i'd sit there in the theater and laugh and laugh and laugh like uh, uh, how's that lasso mother oh family family yeah. program family program so <laughs> i um as long as, as long as he has bmf written on that's, his that's right his that's spot. right that's right i land that invisible plane <laughs> i i'd say the one of the things in endgame i loved endgame i loved i i loved all the marvel movies i'm i'm just such a fanboy of of them i got posters of them up i it's bad i i didn't like that that forced like the 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 part in endgame where the girls all the female marvel characters got together and like we're going to do this thing like that felt so forced to me, right? Like they were they were all over in the battles. Like they were everybody was fighting together. I feel like everything was all on the same field. And then all of a sudden it's like like all the male uh superheroes were just gonna just gonna be like, all right, we'll be over here if you need us. Like, I don't what? What how does this and I get the point they're making, but I think that same point was made when the the guns from the ship were bombarding the planet, like just destroying the planet. And all of a sudden, they totally ignored everything that was going on down there and pointed to the sky because one female, one female flew into the atmosphere, right? That to me made a bigger, more like female power statement than, than the, the right. well, we got this one, one you know, like, I, uh, <laughs> person was wrecking ships right it was just destroying everything it was like it was like so dope it was like such an awesome moment her coming in and and then, and and then, then, and then before that because that was before that scarlet witch yeah is, is right. literally about to murder Thanos. oh yeah just ripping the pieces of him off like left and right like yeah like it's yeah exactly like i i and i i don't think i don't think they yeah I, exactly why can't it just be what they, did, what they did with that with that scene is it kind of cheapened those prior events yeah heard, it did like, it did actually seeing them right kick butt right right and I mean, it's they, like they, they showed yeah. that they were supposed to reckon with. Yeah, yeah. It was like, dude, you need to give them no. A, they were side no. by side with everybody that was on that field, just just busting it up. Mm -hmm. And then and then all of a sudden, I don't know. It was I I hated yeah. that part of that movie. I it just ugh, it was it was gross. Like he didn't I, need I to admit, do it. I admit, even even like when when it happened, even my my wife and I and my daughter saw it in the theater and afterwards we're like that was kind of weird yeah like, yeah not necessary we said the same thing it was just i i i think everybody that watched it was like oh like why why i don't know i don't yeah. know that's that was rough um but, but you gotta you gotta remember we're see here here, here i go here it's we go like, i'm in all kinds of trouble here we go but, here we go you and I were yeah. we're two white men. So yeah, we can't have that. We, we can't have that opinion. We're Sorry, not God. the yeah. <laughs> we're not, not the decision I'm makers. Not to, I'm not allowed to express my opinion on that. You're okay, right. Good. That's right. That's right. You can't do it. You just can't do it, and that's okay. That's all right. We'll be canceled in no time. It'll be fine. Yeah. I I like. It's funny they do. You cancel cast. Yeah. Right. 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 It's like yeah. OG Vodcast got canceled. That's weird. Wonder what happened. Yeah. Thanks, Pixel. Way to go. God, what a because I completely derailed the God, entire show. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Crazy. So just a game nerd. Mm -hmm. So here's her opinion oh, yeah? TV stuff. Have yeah, yeah, I like that. Women. Yep. TV goes above and beyond to make women look overpowered and ruins the show. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's and it's not to say that a woman can't be more powerful than a man. Right, right. But why why does it have to be such a spec? when they do it right right it's like because it's it's forced it's like it, it, yeah. it is it is them basically being detrimental to their own cause right because they're look at this and they hold it up in the spotlight and you're like well you could have just done that and it would have it would have spoken for itself right exactly and it, it and it's i think it's i think it's uh it's it's this 
this culture that we're kind of touching on, but it's also, it's lazy writing. It's lazy creativity. It's like, if you, if you can't, if it's really important to you as a show creator, as a movie director, as a producer to, to, to give that equal type of, you know, this character is as good as this character. They're not the same because, you know, whether you're talking about males and females or, or young and old or whatever, they're, you're not the same, but they have their strengths, you know? If you're not a good enough writer, producer, director to emphasize those strengths throughout a project, uh, you don't get a pass by cramming it all in in like 30 seconds towards the end of the, the show, towards the end of the movie. Like that's just, right. it's laziness. And, and it's, I, it's, it's a shame they have to do that. Um, and, and that sensationalizing and putting that spotlight on. Yeah. Um, look, at, look at what we're doing. You know, it almost almost breaking the fourth wall, saying, "Hey, look, look at this!" Right, look. right, 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 right. It's like, oh, oh, hey, hey, yeah, yeah. you know, <laughs> right, right. Then, exactly. Right. exactly. And then, and then you're like, "What's happening? Like, what's what's going on right now?" You know, <laughs> Kevin, Kevin Kevin Smith did it the best in Jane Silent Bob Strike Back. Yeah, when Mark Hamill shows up, it goes freezes and says, "Look, kids, Mark Hamill." Yes, yeah. <laughs> right, you're right, exactly. <laughs> And an arrow pointing at him. Right. I mean, that's Bing. it's it, it makes you wonder where the ones who actually do it organically and actually just make the characters that right. way or make their right. story that way. Right. They're doing it for the right reasons. Yeah. I think a lot of these ones who shine in the spotlight are trying to be, hey, look, we're doing this too. We're, yeah. we're trying to be the right, the, right. The the the, the, the social trying to push the agenda forward to say hey look we're gonna make this right and we're gonna do good on this you know us too us too is kind of like what i get for these writers when they do that kind of thing right Where right it's, it's more of look at look at what i did not look at what the product actually was right it was just they want the notoriety of saying hey they checked the boxes yep yeah i don't know yeah no that's it, that's it, actually good yeah. It is, yeah. it is seeing, yeah, it is. It's, it's so forced with some. Oh, yeah, not the writers. You, yeah, you know, no. Just, you know, the, the, the movie and film. Exactly. Movie. It's the, it's the, the industry. I'm sure it's, it's, it's the, the, yeah, the CEOs. It's probably not even the people on set. And it's just, it's just one of those. Yeah, we need to do this. Yeah, that's yeah. that's a good point. Mila Jokovic was awesome in the Resident Evil movies. Was and, and oh, in yeah. fact, uh, most of her roles, dude. She's she's just a, a kick ass female actress. Like, dude, she. I'm fairly certain she would beat my butt if you know. Like, I'm like, I know for a fact. But it's like, like yeah, Ali Lauder kind of kind of did. It felt a little. I don't know. It, it did feel a little forced for sure. Um, Thanks for the lurk, man. I, I appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out. Yeah. Thanks, yeah. Thanks, Have a good night, Bagoom. I'll uh, I'll hit you up uh, one of these days. We'll play some games. But uh, yeah, yeah. No, and I I don't I don't want to I don't want to I don't want to drag into that. But it's it's true. It it there's so many things in Hollywood that they you know if if things go a certain way, it's man, it's the end of the world. But when they go the other way, it's not even a footnote. It's like everyone's just right. like oh. Oh well, yeah, no, no, you know. In fact, I mean, and some people would even frown upon us bringing it up, you know, right? Like right. so, right? And and that's that's exactly it. It's like I I bring it up and I stand by you know what I'm saying because this is I want a conversation about it. Tell right. Me, tell you know tell, tell me what am I what am I missing? Right. What part of the puzzle am I missing? Why I am thinking of it this way? Yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. open for discussion. It's not. Uh, you know, yeah. I'm not making grand statements and saying yeah. this is bad because of this. Exactly, and that's and and that's I think that's too a... many people. Shut, too many people shut down. Right. And they just they, they they make their statement about whatever they believe, and then they put their fingers in their ears. Right. And go, right. La, 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 la. There's no more dialogue. It's like it's it's right. if you don't share my opinion, you're my enemy. You know, it's like this right. this confrontational thing, and it doesn't have to be. I feel like. I feel like a lot of people can still have conversations, you know, and, and, but yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy. Um, but anyways, yeah. that's that, as far as streaming goes, you know, snake eyes, black widow, it was, there was one major show. It was one major event that ended up, uh, the Loki finale. 
I, I know you watched it, right? Oh, oh yeah. So, so chat has already watched it. Yeah. So, yeah. Going to discuss. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Fast and the Furious Nine. Yeah, we did go see Fast and the Furious Nine. I want to see that too. Yeah. All I could say is, I hope you're gonna say Fiero in space because that's. <laughs> I was gonna say Fiero in space, <laughs> but I was also gonna say, um, that Tyrese and Ludacris <laughs> are pretty much us at this point. Yeah. Watching yeah. themselves in the movie. Right. Are we invincible? Right. I know. I was like, that's like, what I told her. I was like, I was like, I told Michelle, I'm like, it's like they're the audience. It's like they put them in to be the audience. Like they're the only logical thing that's left in this series. <laughs> and, 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 and I gotta say, if it was not for their angle of that being, it's like, we can't be killed. Right. You know, <laughs> like, if it wasn't for them being self aware like that, <laughs> like that. that to me, that gave the whole movie a pass. Like, yeah. I, I'll explain that now because they're aware of what they're doing. Yeah, yeah. Man, I'm putting duct tape on a garbage suit, man. <laughs> 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 oh, man, that was... Yeah, it was... Uh, to, me, to me, that gave, that gave the movie a pass. So I'm like, I don't care how good they keep listening. Yeah. Man, as long as they keep those two commentating on yeah. what's happening. Yeah. I've seen I've seen everyone in the theater. I will see everyone in the theater, but mm -hmm. they're getting rough, man. They're getting pretty bad. But yeah, but yeah. so yeah, yeah, seriously, it's been three weeks uh, since the Loki finale came on. If you haven't seen Loki, we about to drop some spoilers, yeah. and and that's too bad. So uh, you you can just hang out and lurk, maybe mute the tab, but shame Watch on you for up. not seeing it because. <laughs> I got up here. Let's see. We're we, spoilers. We we even got. I mean, we gave you an extra week, man. Like you gotta, you know, you gotta give us that one. Uh, there we go. Spoiler alert on. Spoiler alert. Oh, I like it. Nice. Yeah, I would turn mine on, but I, I don't think I brought it over. Oh wait, new machine. What I did? What I did? Hey, Oops, give everybody that way. Boom. Just hey, in case. look at that. Look at that. Yeah, just in case. Just in case. The stuff we will talk about is going to. I'm sure this conversation is going to lead us to all the upcoming oh, yeah. content. Yeah, for sure. Well. Um, speculation. Gosh, I almost, I almost feel like I should have gone back and I should have gone back and watched it again. But um, because there were there were a lot of little things um that I caught throughout. So uh, I I I'm I'm loving the show. I, I think it's great. It is coming back for another season. Yeah, I do wish it, it would have had more episodes. I felt like it, it's funny. It's like the, the shows you really love, they do like six episodes. The ones that you're just so done with, they do like 20 episodes. You're like, you know, <laughs> like, come on, people. I would rather I would rather it be a six episodes that's very concise and move forward. Yeah. Than a lot of filler. Yeah, because that, 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 you would lose some of it. it. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true. Um, six episodes is already over two movies worth. That's true. That is true. Uh, I I felt like this show more than even Wandavision, some of the others. This show had, um, I think this show actually had uh, production level, movie production level value too. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Send me, send it to me, Graham. I'll check it out later. Um, yeah, I I really think that it had some some yeah it was great i i really enjoyed it um i i figured a few things out before it happened but i didn't exactly see it going the way it did um i i didn't think that i i was i still i'm still curious about how they're going to work in um cuz i cuz i don't think we saw kang right i think we saw his one of his variants, right? Which technically is still King. Right. She, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. Technically speaking is, but we, like we, a, a, we, te we technically saw, what would it be? Immortus? Uh, yeah, because it, it wasn't is, actually Nathan, right? Wasn't his, wasn't his actual name Nathan? His human name was Nathan something? Nathan? Nathaniel? I can't remember, but 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 yeah, we but saw, he because he mentioned really... he said I met him, so it wasn't him, right? Mm -hmm. Right, and then he said, yeah. you know, he he did mention at one part, you know, 
the things to come and he's been called many things and a conqueror he said yeah right right yeah and what we what we saw is i believe kind of like immortus because right. if i recall that was the that was basically the the king who lived forever right kind of right like right been through it all yeah so it was like old man king yeah i don't i don't know grim they might they might have female loki you you never know you never know. Like at this point, they can do, they can do a lot of things. Now, I will say, since we do have the spoiler banner up, uh, not really a spoiler for Black Widow, but um, the uh, Red Guardian. There's point in the movie where he talks about fights he's had with Captain America because him and Captain America were nemesis back in the comics, you know. And so at one point, someone asked him, like, when did you fight Captain America? And he was like, I don't know. It was like 80s, 85, 86, when the comics came out, right? And they're like, no, you didn't. He was frozen in the ice. You're full of crap. There's no way this, that, the other. Oh, okay, was he full of crap or was he a variant, right? Right? So it's like, there's so many ways. Oh, they already announced she's not going to be in season two. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah, I really like their dynamic. I really yeah. enjoyed it. That's, that was good. Um, but yeah, I, uh, uh, dude, it was the, the show was done really well. Uh, what do you think about the, what do you think about the end as far as them going back to, um, when he goes back, nobody recognizes him. So how did, how did that change happen? I, th well, because remember when we'll, we'll just call him King. You know, yeah. They, they, yeah. They, yeah. He, he, he remains right. King. We'll just call him King. Right. Um, when King hit the point, he goes off script because from that point on, he doesn't know what's ha what's going to happen. Sure. Sure. Right from that point, all of the branches started. Oh. So his so before before she tempatted him out. Right. The branches already began. Oh. So she tempatted him to a different branch. Exactly. Not knowing that it was going interesting. To be interesting. Very interesting. See, I didn't think that the Tim pad would be able to do it, but I guess it would because that's what they always did. And when they went and that's cleared it, between that's how they would. That's how they would trim it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Croc Loki was awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah, we know Grim. It was, I don't know, it's been a problem. I think because I switched, uh, I switched some stuff up in my stream machine, but he sounds good on his channel. So, so switch over to, to Pixel's chat and, uh, and, and my voice and his voice all sound good on his stream. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so she temp added him into the branch, and that's also why not only do people not know him, but why the statues changed and everything, right? Everything was different, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah you was Kang. Right, exactly. Yeah, the, the, exactly. Uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. So it was, yeah, it was pretty interesting. It was pretty important. Yeah, basically. <laughs> basically. Well, yeah. I, I'm gonna blame Discord for this one, but we'll 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 figure it out. I'm changing everything up again tomorrow, so we'll troubleshoot a bit before the next one. Um yeah, I just I don't see I I don't hey, know. Shane, it's we're, cool. We're, we're talking spoilers of Loki. 100%. 100%. Yeah, we're talking all about Loki spoilers. I hope you've seen you it. Want to go back. You might want to catch the VOD later because we, we had some, we oh, had yeah. some uh, hot opinions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Earlier. Right, right. Yeah, some good ones. It was some good ones. Some of, of, of the social, um, social media nature, I guess you would say. Yeah, media, yeah. Media. You know, you know. All right. Um, it was good. It was good. It was, we, had, we had some fun discussions and, and more to come. Mm -hmm. um, I think I, I, so part of me really likes the, the direction there. Cause, cause I'll be honest after the, the infinity saga, I was kind of done with the Marvel universe, you know, well, not done was, with it, but just like, I was, I was ready to say, okay. That's good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And I, I, I didn't see how, anyone that they had lined up for like the next phase was going to be interesting you know um mm -hmm. the thor and uh, uh guardians of the galaxy together okay you've piqued me a little bit but again i'm more interested in thor 
than than probably Guardians of the Galaxy. I mean, not that I didn't enjoy Guardians of the Galaxy, but you know, so right. I was kind of like, eh, you know, I I felt like that they were going to get into some of these um, extended uh, storylines that were that were obscure. And even as a comic book fan, as a kid, like I, there was going to be stuff like I I didn't even follow, you know. So I. I didn't know how there we go. Well, now they, they've kind of opened up a lot of opportunities to go a lot of different directions, which I'm 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 really loving the um, I'm really loving the the, uh, the 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 streaming shows, how they've they've played into it. Um, yeah, Morbius Absolutely. is going to be pretty good. I think I think Morbius would be pretty neat. But but again, that was more obscure for me. I didn't I, I was not into Morbius at all as a kid. So, I, you know, it's like. I don't know. It's it's. I do love the streaming shows though, and how they're really intertwining um, with with the universe and really setting the stage for the next. But yeah, it does look good. It does look pretty good. But yeah, so it it's definitely doing a good job of getting me hyped up. And like I'm, I should even be the one they're targeting, right? Because like I'm, I'm probably gonna watch them anyway, just being a fan. But it's like it's interesting that they have been able to do that. Although, although, like you said, it's like you were ready to check out, but they pulled you back in. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. And it's like, so they did a good job of that. Um, but yeah. 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 I, I got to say, though, with Loki, though, I, I, I'd i say that ranks my number one for the streaming show. So far. Right. Right. Out of the three. And they had me right out of the gate when... Loki was brought in, and he opened the desk drawer and saw Infinity Stones laying there. And the guy explained, yeah. well, some of the other guys used them as paperweights. As paperweights, and he's just like... That, yeah, that right, right there pretty right. much me stage that. Yeah. Hilarious. Everything that happened before was on such a smaller scale than we're right right right. It's like such a bigger universe, or multiverse, you know? Like, it's such okay. a... So, so I don't want to. I don't want to go back too hard to it. But our previous conversation about switching things out, uh, Taskmaster in oh, yeah, Black yeah. Widow, totally different from the comics. Hundred percent different. Different character. Uh, it was a male in the comics. It was a female in the in the movie. Totally just back to our last mm -hmm. point. But anyways. Uh, and Taskmaster was someone I saw from following Captain America. Yes, Mister Goody Two Shoes, as the as the missus would call. Him. I like Captain America growing up. Like, guy was awesome. It was my guy. It's my guy. I liked Iron Man too. I liked. I, don't know, I liked the I liked the Avengers, and I liked X Men. I really liked X Men a lot. I would have loved to see more. Um, I, I enjoyed the X Men movies. I would. I I wish that. The timing could have been better to really have them cross over. Like that would have been really cool to to see. But yeah, yeah, Iron Man. Yeah, yeah. yeah I know. I know it could happen. No, and I, mm -hmm. I think, I think the Marvel universe uh, that that we have right now doesn't happen if Robert Downey Jr. wasn't cast as Iron Man. I, no. He nailed it. Yeah. Like he was just perfect. And if that movie wasn't successful, there's no way they're gonna keep making movies, you know. And yeah, that's funny. That's that's uh that's kind of a that's kind of a topic we're gonna get into there, Mrs. That's that's funny you say that. That's good. Yep. Um. So. Yeah. So with Loki, then. Yeah. The way they went at the end with the branching of the time streams, like right, that. right. Potentially, like pe people are up in arms because they said that, oh well, they, they basically made it where Thanos didn't matter. Yeah, yeah. I, it's... Don't, I don't believe that. Though. I yeah, no, because, you can't. Because all we yeah. existed in with with the Avengers, we were existing in their version of Earth, right? Of their of their world, right? So the stakes were there; they were very real for. Yeah, everything that we knew for sure, um, and, and and with the whole thing of you know dismissing the Infinity Stones now now that you've stepped up to Loki, it's it's kind of like in the very beginning when you had you had Iron Man, Thor, and Cap, and Hulk, and you know Hawkeye, Black Widow, and stuff right. leading into Avengers, right? 
And then the very first thing when Iron Man took that nuke back up into the the wormhole, it was like, oh wow, there's other stuff. Yeah, out. look what's out here. Right, right, right. Exactly. Then in the next phase, then we get Guardians. We get some some visitation at the top there. Sure, 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 sure. Then they started to touch upon the time travel. Right. And other cosmic characters. Mm -hmm. And now we're just taking that next step into yeah. a huge, yeah. bigger universe. I I don't mind the the scaling that they did. I, I'm with you. I agree. It doesn't make it irrelevant at all. Like it it's the basis of everything, right? right. But I I I'm I feel kind of weird when you have a, like a full reset. And I feel like this is what it kind of gives the universe. This multiverse theory like resets everything. It it kind of rebaselines um, if they if they go that right, way. right, right. And that's but, yeah. That's like we have to Yeah, exactly. And I I hope they don't. I hope they don't mm -hmm try to reinvent the next marvel legacy you know right don't don't use this as an opportunity to give me a brand new set of 22 movies and forget where you came from right because i don't i don't think anyone wants that and i, I don't think we're i think anybody's ready for that but and that's where i'm at with it like it i like i i don't like the i don't like the the reset button you know what i mean um right because because they could go that route and that like I don't want them to I don't want them to go and I I don't think they will I I, I don't but in my opinion I think the smart way to do it would be now you have all these branches all these multiple universes out there multiverses and you use this next phase basically trying to fix how they're all bleeding together right right sure ultimately correcting the barriers between them sure the end, sure um where they still exist but they're right. not bleeding into one another right anymore. so you can have fun with this phase and be mm -hmm. like oh look all and some of the stuff that's coming up sure seems like it's gonna be that right way. right uh, you can have fun with that and then eventually set the course straight again. Right. So where where would you be? How would you feel about a a movie with like a a two minute cameo of Tony Stark, Robert Downey Jr. still alive in another universe? Mm -hmm. Just kind of like that little glimpse of like, oh, wow. Like, are you to me that would cheapen his sacrifice he made in Infinity I War, think, you know? I think, I, think seeing, I think seeing versions of the existing characters like that might cheapen it. Yeah. To to actually have them on screen in a role. Right, like, right. I mean, and I, I, think if anything, I think if anything, allow mention to be passed that you know, Stark Industries is alive and well or something like that. Sure, but sure, sure. Don't don't go too close. Yeah. Don't fly too close to the sun. Right, right. There's this weird borderline of, like, cheesy. Like, you almost get, okay, cool, man, I'll check it out. Uh, it's like, you know, I, I don't want that. I don't want to take anything away from what we've already had. Um, And, and, and it, it you know, Getting back to kind of like the writers, directors things, dude. That's a that's a that's a cheap way to make an awesome movie trailer to get a lot of people to go see a movie. You know, right? Oh, yeah. Like show show Tony Stark looking in the Iron Man mask closing, right? Or, or Robert Downey Jr. in the Iron Man mask closing. A lot of people are gonna go see that movie. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, and I hope they don't yeah. play that card. I hope they don't. You know, I, I, I want to see them because but then but then on the other side of the coin, when you see things kind of start to come together, it is really cool. It is really neat when you're like, oh, wow, how it how it all kind of plays together. So. I don't know. It's a fine line to walk, you know, um, but, at the same, but at the same time, too, is that the route they would take or would it literally be? 
you know, they step into one of the other multiverses and they hear about Tony Stark and they go to Stark Tower and it's not Robert Downey Jr. Yeah, right. It's someone totally different. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. yeah. Kind, of, kind of, kind of, I mean, because if you think, because that's where now with this low key situation of creating all these branches, right? It's, it's going to permit basically what is rumored to be our live action Spider Verse film that we we'll yeah. get. Yeah. Yeah. Which will be really cool, I think, seeing. With, yeah, yeah. Which all the which previous actors, yeah, exactly. Andrew Garfield, yeah. Tobey Maguire, and I do. Back. And and the fact that they are Peter Parker, right, 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 right. So different yeah. actors. It it definitely gives you a twist to because movies have been made and rebooted. You know, Dolph Lundgren was Punisher. All right, let's not forget. Right, right. and uh, David Hasselhoff was Nick Fury at one point. So let's all calm right. down. Right. Okay. So like, like reboots happen. Okay. And sometimes they need to happen. Right. But it's, I need, I need a Chris, I need a Chris Evans team and torch. Camera. Yeah. Right. Now see that, that, that is a nice line of like, Oh wow. Okay. Okay. You know, but, mm -hmm. um, I, I another thing I'm looking forward to is the what if series. Like I think I think that's going to be really cool too. Like cuz I I do like that what if, you know, but it's mm -hmm. it's in context of what if, you know, right? It's not it's trying like, to yeah, that. yeah, exactly. It's a standalone story. Exactly. Game. So so that will be cool in its own right. I just don't, you know. But we'll see we'll see how it goes. I'm I'm excited. I think uh uh, I think so. So what do you think? What are your thoughts on uh, Judge? I forget her name. Uh, the 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 little time clock girl gave her a different files. Oh, um, yeah. So what? Renslayer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So so what do you think the files that he gave her instead of the files that she needed? She said, you'll need these more or something. He thought you'd need these more. You got any ideas? I'm see, and it can't, I can't base it off of what I know from comics, right? And I don't, I only know this from comics because I did research on these characters. I didn't actually read the original comics when they were around for it, right? Right, but right. She's involved with Kang, yeah, 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 yeah. right, exactly. And I don't know if they're gonna go that route. That the stuff that's more you know that would be more important to her yeah this is a way of maybe to become an ally to one of the other versions of king sure who's taking control she or, she yeah or is it for her to help take down one of the other versions of the king she definitely showed her allegiance to the timekeepers the time right time. Yeah. was like so like focused on we have to do this, like, like put aside everything else, even the truth, like it was even willing right. to ignore the truth to simply, you know, keep doing what she thought was right, you know? So, um, yeah, right, 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 right. Yeah. 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 No kidding. Right. That would be crazy to go, go out and go back and see that. And that's, that's what I wondered too, is if they were sending, if she went back to her life, um, but it's but it's like here's the thing too is like um so obviously we know where Loki became a variant, right? Because he stole the Tesseract when they went back and changed everything. Like, dude, some of these other people, how do you how does a school teacher become a variant? You know, like what what giant thing happens? And that could play into it, all right? You know, maybe maybe her husband was, you know, uh, Dr. Nathaniel was it Nathaniel Richards, Nathan Richards or something like that? I forget. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? Um, Reed it Richards and from Fantastic Four is um offspring. Yeah. Right. 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 So like a descendant of his. Yeah. Exactly. Um. So yeah, it must have been Richards then. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the name. It's crazy. But uh, yeah. No, I I think it could. It's there's a there's a million ways. And no, no, I gotta. I know, I gotta right? Google. I know the Google. Got to ask the Google. There, there's so yeah, many. The there's so many. That's what scares me though, is there's so many ways they could go and and it's like you've almost you've almost given too many options. Nathaniel Richards. Nathaniel Richards. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. And it, it so maybe I don't know. You know, like you just it's really curious to see like if all these people are variants, like how did you screw up the timeline so bad that you had to 
you had to become be, get snatched up by the TVA, you know. Right. It's pretty interesting. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I think we'll. I think we'll get some in the next season. I think we'll get definitely some more story about that. And yeah. Movies. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So it should be. It should be good. Um. I don't know. I don't know. Like, how's Blade gonna come into it too? You know, it's like there's so many things that are about to happen. It's mm -hmm. just like and uh, the Eternals. I'm I'm right. really curious how the Eternals are gonna play into it because the Eternals, I. I had a little bit of glazing over, but I, I really you didn't follow anything about them. Yeah, so I'm like, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. It'll be it's interesting to watch. You know, someone online, like, I don't know what to take for you know fact. It's right, you know, people speculating, right, in you know forums and whatnot. But that the Eternals. Because the whole big question that they posed in this one forum was, where were the Eternals when Thanos was coming? Right, right. Like, we stood back for this whole time, like, bruh, we could have used you, like. <laughs> and the Eternals are supposed to be pretty much the most powerful thing yet. Uh, uh. Who could have who could have put a stop to Thanos? Right. They were around. Right, yeah, yeah, obviously. But. But from what I what I gathered from these conversations I, I looked at is the timelines splitting off is what awakens the internals. Right, 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 right. So like actually that they were actually like cap I want I want to say captive, but like hidden away. Like yeah, like, hidden away. You know, and where yeah, they weren't they weren't aware and around. There's kind of the 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 aspect of that puts more gravity to this multiverse timeline splitting mm -hmm. than Thanos. Like you know, so maybe the Eternals and all their wisdom said you know they knew that you know humans were going to figure it out. Well, not just right. humans, but you know, like the universe was going to fix itself. They didn't need to step in. Mm -hmm. However. You know, now something even worse has happened, you know, and you think, wow, what's worse than that? Well, that kind of puts a perspective. So maybe that's a mechanism and, they're going to. Yeah, and kind of set off the alarm for them. Right. It awakened them right. out of their slumber or whatever. Right. It, it took me seeing that preview twice to realize it was Winter Soldier sitting at the table with them, too. I was like, oh, <laughs> like, oh, holy crap. That is, <laughs> it's like, Bucky? What? <laughs> you know, right. Like, what, what is happening? So that's that's interesting, too. So that'll be. Good. But then you have, um, uh, I don't know if we already talked about this. I already might have mentioned. I can't remember if we talked about this at the last podcast, but the trailer for Shang Chi. How? It, yeah, I don't know. At, at the seen. end of the new, at the end of the new trailer, you see uh, Wong from uh, right from uh, Doctor Strange. Right. Right. As well as abomination from Hulk. Right, right, you're right. You, we did talk about that because I, yeah, I do remember that now. Mm -hmm. so, Shang Chi. I, I don't. I can't remember when does that one do to come out. That's. I gotta consult. The yeah, movies. it's got to be early 2022, right? Let's see. No, September. September. Wow. Yeah, check that out. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Um, I was gonna say maybe this is. Well, then that's true because Abomination and Wong are both in this in this right. world. Right. 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 So they don't need they don't need to split into the multiverses yet. Yeah. Uh, and Eternals is in November, so. Uh, maybe that'll lead into a little bit of. It's gonna be a. It's gonna be a busy end of the year. Yeah. No kidding. Spider -Man. Spider-Man's December, isn't it? Right, right. Yeah, no kidding. That's going to be nuts. I'm excited. It'll be fun. Not, and not to mention, uh, we have Hawkeye. Yeah. The series. Right, right. Which Black Widow set you on the path for. Yep, 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 yep. I, I say Black Widow, in my opinion, it was all about making making you know Yelena. Yeah, exactly. Because I think she's going to be a big part of yes. the universe. Of Hawkeye. And what's and, interesting, and what's interesting was the, the picture in Black Widow that, mm -hmm. that she saw was, uh, it to me, it wasn't a picture of Hawkeye. It was a picture of Ronan. 
right yeah, so yeah, it yeah. was kind of like now i don't know if they did that intentionally or if it's just me nerding out a little bit but like dude ronan got really dark like ronan was a they only touched on it in the movies but like ronan was a not a hero at all like ronan was mm -hmm. like he was he was he was hunting bad people but dude he he was vicious man like just oof, man when when it's hawkeye turned to ronan it was crazy it's, that's the kicker too he in in the movies he didn't go Ronan until after Infinity War. Yeah, right, right. And it was, and they just sort of, yeah, and I just sort of touched on it. It really, they really didn't even. I mean, in the timeline, yeah. so if it's the picture, if it's a picture of Ronan. Yeah, right. It, 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 chronistically, doesn't, it, it doesn't line up. Well, technically it does it's, because it's, of where she know. saw the picture. Remember? That's true. That's right, true. right, no, right, no, right. No, technically no, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> My previous statement yeah 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 yeah. but so i don't know i don't know if it's gonna yeah. be like it would be cool to see uh some dark ronin like don't go don't go hunting hawkeye oh, yeah. you know what i'm saying go go hunt some some pretty Someone like who's gonna fight back. <laughs> yeah 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 exactly <laughs> yeah, yeah. right no right that could be that could be interesting that could be interesting yeah. spider-man is december 17th wow that's crazy That'll be yeah, uh, Spider Man's gonna be crazy. Yeah, that'll be neat. I mean, you got the and and this is right now we only know we only know rumors, you know. Right. It, it, as far as we know, they're gonna the movie's gonna start and and end, and we're not even gonna have the other two Spider Man. Right, that's true. Even be in it. Yeah, that's true. That's true. But speculation says they will be. Yeah. And yeah. Then, and with Marvel, I mean, anything is possible because they can pull a bait and switch. Right. Like right. That. Right. Yeah, that's true. But you have so you have Tobey Maguire, you have Andrew Garfield coming in as Spider Man, you have Jamie Fox coming in as Electro. Right. Right. You have um, what's his name is um Doc Ock. Yeah. Coming in. Yeah, old school Doc Ock, which he played yeah, a great Doc, Doc, Doc Ock, by the way. Like yeah, I liked, I loved him as Doc him. Ock. Yeah, that was cool. And then the other thing is that uh, you're going to have, uh, what's his name? Um, I'm trying to think of his real name, but you're going to have uh, Daredevil in it. Oh, right. Right, right, right. I don't know if you, if you saw that speculation. Yeah, yeah, I've seen a little bit of that. It, but, but not, supposedly not as Daredevil. Right. As you have him as his... Um, daytime right right the lawyer uh, yeah right the lawyer um yeah uh I, then they were talking they were talking about um speaking of daredevil then there's also the fact that um kingpin not in spider-man right kingpin, right supposedly in hawkeye yeah so yeah that would be as long as we don't get um ben affleck daredevil i'm cool with it I'm, I'm, I'm good with it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, no, no. Not Ben Affleck. No, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. As long as we don't know, uh, it's the the character that played him. I think in the series, right? The guy that played him in the series. Um, uh, what is his name? <laughs> yeah, I know, right, dude. Me too. I don't need more Ben Affleck. I can't. Remember yeah, I forget his. I forget his name. I forget his name. Like the one from the Netflix series. Oh, oh. Now that the now that the um rights are up yeah so exactly they're, they're, they're able to take the actors and characters from the right Netflix right because uh, vincent, vincent d'onofrio as kingpin is yeah to be exactly yeah i'll tell you if if i can get william defoe back as as green goblin oh man i i would not be i, I don't know if I, Dude. I don't know if we'd actually get Green, Green Goblin. Uh, yeah, I think we're definitely gonna see. He he might come back just as like Norman Osborn, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Charlie Cox. Charlie Cox. Thing. Yeah, very cool. I never watched the uh, TV show. Yeah, me neither. I never saw it. Yeah, I never watched Daredevil. I haven't watched Daredevil. I haven't watched Punisher. I haven't watched. I love Punisher. I haven't watched any of them. Yeah. Yeah, I know. They were, they were they were really good. Really good. Okay. They were, they were really all the Netflix shows. Put on the list. <laughs> Put it on the list. Solid. That's good. All right, we'll check them out. And then we we can maybe get rid of the whole, you know, Ben Affleck Daredevil 
You just wipe oh, yeah. that You'll from forget, our minds. Forget all about that. You'll forget all about that. <laughs> That's good. That's good. <laughs> yeah. But, That's yeah, cool. but yeah, it, it's it, there. There's a lot. There's a lot of potential for now that they're going to be pulling all the stuff together. Yeah. And the fact that the only property that Disney Marvel does not own outright is Spider Man, and Sony's playing nice with them. Right. That's cool. It, it could benefit them both. Yeah. But. Yeah, you figure all the Fox stuff is theirs again. Right, right. Yeah, that is that is going to be pretty neat. That is going to be pretty cool. Dude, yep. man, I'm excited. I, I'm, and like I said, it did kind of restoke the fire of like, okay, you know, I can get into this again. I don't, I don't know if it's going to be the same level as what I was. I mean, I'm talking about I was counting down the days, buying tickets the day they came out. Like, I mean, I was really into the the last series of of the Marvel movie. So, so we'll see, we'll see how yeah, this next sure one goes. I, I'm not sure that I'd be necessarily back to that level. Yeah, but Lo Loki definitely guaranteed. Yeah. I'm yeah on board for what for sure, done. for sure. It'll it'll be interesting. Um, all right. So you want to talk about some gaming news? Yeah, uh, yeah, talk about yeah. some video game stuff. So I know you are excited to see this sweet, awesome, oh, new, oh. amazing Switch console that they finally gave us the information about. It's so good. It's everything everyone wanted. Yep. Not really. What <laughs> Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh. So uh, Nintendo, and I think I think Nintendo stumbled at the wrong time too, because there's other people coming out, there's other people doing things, and I, I don't I don't even understand their thought process on. I I think they do better by just uh, making more special edition switches than making this. I mean, basically, it's an OLED, right? That's really the only. It's OLED screen. The internal storage went from 32 to 64 gig. Oh, right. Which every, everybody puts an SD in it. Sure, yeah, exactly. I can see if the original did not have an SD. Right, right. <laughs> Absolutely, you know, storage. Yeah. But, yeah, 32 to 64, the OLED screen, um, the more versatile kickstand. Oh, so yeah. You can, so you, it's pulled back is it, kind of like how a Microsoft Surface kicks in. Right, so, right, right, right. Full adjustable. And then you have the new cool looking white Joy Cons. Yeah, right. My, my, the most disappointing, pro aside, my most disappointing thing why, could, why can't I have an official Joy Con with a D pad? Yeah, just give me the D pad, man. Give me yeah, the D pad. Yeah, yeah. Console. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That that would have sold. I mean, that would have sold more than than this. I can't imagine. I don't understand anyone that's sitting there right now. And chat, this is your chance. This is it. Mm -hmm. I can't think of anyone that that ran out and pre ordered already. And it's like I can't wait. It's uh, man. This is this is gonna change my life. Like, I I don't get it. I don't. I do not understand. The, the engineering, the the money, the... I, I don't understand. Oops. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> yeah. Listen, I do not want a new Switch. <laughs> Your kids might, but not me. I, I've, I've thought about... I thought about pre-ordering it. Uh -huh. And actually, when it went up for pre-order, I tried my luck on the websites. Sure. On GameStop. All right. And I didn't even get to see the pre-order button. Oh, wow. Blue. Wow. Or whatever color it goes. Right. It, it was out of stock. Oh, jeez. Uh, um, apparently, um, talking to them as as of as late as Friday, my local store still had pre orders if I went into the store. Oh, wow. You're so right. I could have, you know, I could have gone in, but sure. I, I've, I've thought about it mainly because I have a launch edition switch, so I don't right. even have the extended battery. That, right. Or, Battery's the same. I don't have the more power efficient chipset. Right, right. Know, to make the battery last longer. Right. And not to mention, my battery is actually getting a little on the tired side to where it's not lasting like it used to either. Sure, sure. So, yeah, and, but, and yeah, I get it. Yeah. That I'm weighing it out of how much am I really playing at handheld? Right, right. I, of 
when I do play it handheld, I'd love to have the extra battery life and the mm-hmm. OLED screen. Mm-hmm. But right I, when when is, do you... it, is it worth buying a whole new Switch? Right at a fifty dollar increase. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. I I just I don't see it. I I don't I don't I I was late to get the Switch anyway. But I, I can't, I don't understand this move. I don't understand how, how they, that they're expecting to make a ton of money on it. But, um, yeah. I, I, I mean, but, you know, it, I guess if you need a switch, like you said, like if you were, if you were the first one in line, you're probably about ready for, if you've well played it, you know, you're, you're that, that high school kid, you're taking it to school. You're, you're, you're a, a work person. You travel a lot. So you're constantly on the road with it. Okay. Sure. hundred mm-hmm. percent. You're probably going to, going to buy one, but maybe you just brought the switch light. You know what I mean? Right. Like maybe like, I, I don't know. It just, I don't understand the, they could have taken like the it's... switch light and this switch and waited six months and just made a powerhouse that is an actual upgrade to me, you know? I, I, I feel like it's aimed at new adopters still. Yeah. I, 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 I feel like this was the, the refresh in their supply line. Right. It became advantageous to go ahead and just buy the LED or OLED screen. Oh, now. right. That's true, too. Election. Sure. So I, I feel like this was more of a just, uh, just a just a shift over and just right. Go, here's your new here here's the new switch. Right. That's right. going forward. Right. And when and when the product supply of the original well sec, second version of the original right guys up right it's just the OLED now. Yeah. And and so I, I see, yeah I kind of see it more as that as they they polish the edges a little bit of what what the complaints were right the internal storage the kickstand yeah and they're like here's your here's your new version right and and you know here's something too we talked about this uh, a couple weeks ago you know where where does our disappoint well i'll say mine because i you know i'm not speaking for anyone else but does is my disappointment coming because i read into all the rumors and what it could be and how it could jester what's up thanks for hanging out man enjoy that twisted tea buddy so is is my disappointment because I, I I bought into some of the rumors. You know, this goes back into the pre order conversation, the the hyping things up, the the news articles, the YouTubers, the people that are that are saying, oh, it's going to be this, it's going to be that, and look at this tweet, and let's analyze this Instagram post for six hours to try to understand what they're giving us. You know, and and so I don't know. You know. I don't know. I forgot my spoiler sign up. I just took it down. Oh, that's funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I did. I do remember pulling mine down. That's funny. I mean, technically, yeah, it's spoilers. If you didn't know, you know. Yeah. If if you didn't know. Yeah, spoilers, <laughs> Nintendo, Nintendo. Yeah, spoilers. Nintendo wants more money. Spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I was just a nerd. Um, I don't. I don't think that they're necessarily having trouble with chips on the new Switch. I think. I think that had to do with their their shift in product line. To where the parts are probably there's just more stock of it. Yeah, so they could it's the way for to keep pushing productions forward. And they could be, they could be some of the chips could be end of life, obsolete type. You know, um, especially right. you know when I think when a lot of the places the chip manufacturers shut down for COVID, I think they took that time to retool and move step forward. You know what I mean? So mm-hmm. I I think that maybe some of your manufacturers have you know, consumers and consumer products are going to have to adapt to that. And this might be a way that they're doing that. So, yeah, possible. Well, yeah, yeah, you're right. I mean, about for a terabyte of storage. I mean, that was around when the Switch launched. But you figure, though, for a handheld, it's not it wasn't something that was very doable because the consoles actually the actual device that is that storage in that console would take up a pretty good size inside of a handheld console. Yeah. You and know, as far as realistic for other chips and other functions. Their their games are so, contained on, you know, removable media anyway. So it's not like you're installing the game they, to the Switch, right? Like, uh, like they they're plagued by the by the day one updates too. Oh really? Unfortunately, wow. Unfortunately. Uh, that stinks. That stinks. And 
and anytime you get a game that has like a collection. Uh, wow. Like for instance, if you got the Mega Man Legacy Collection, right, for the Switch, the first six games, Mega Man One through Six, are on the chip. Seven, eight, nine, ten are downloads. Wow. Because it was part. It was part two. Uh, so wow. you get the game. You get the first one on the cartridge, and then you get the download code for the other. Interesting. And yeah, they and Borderlands they did it too. Wow. That's interesting. A whole, whole bunch of others have done it as well, but yeah, I, I think more with I think more with the portable though to, to do that, that much built-in storage though. I, I think would take up too much real estate on right. a, on an already large handheld. Right, right. Yeah, that's that's true. Just game nerd. I didn't even think about that because I'm I try not to buy digital a lot, but I didn't even put that mindset in. That's a good point because mm -hmm. a lot of people, especially the people that are going to use it in a portable, right? They're they're going on travel, they're taking to school. That you, why not have your whole library with you? Buy everything digital, you know. So, and ex actually, for the Switch, I would say, I, I mean, I I have a I have I don't know, I have like forty plus forty fifty physical Switch games to right over here. Right. I kind of wish I bought them digital. Sure. Sure. Only. My only, my only reasoning for the physical was because my wife has a Switch and my oldest daughter has a Switch. Right. They could take the games that are off the shelf, like the first party games, put it in their Switch and play. Right. I don't have to buy a copy for them and buy a copy for me, but you know. Yeah. They don't. They don't get you coming and going that mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. But, but my my one friend, uh, ironically, who um, is a manager at GameStop, and went to a gaming convention back before COVID happened, had his Switch with them, got stolen. Ooh. He had 10 physical games in the case. Oh. Those games are gone. Yeah. If it was digital, it still yeah. sucks you lost your system. Right. And you didn't lose your library. Yeah, they're locked to your account. Yep. You... And, and, he, and that was one of his things. He says... He, pretty much from that point forward when he finally got himself another switch he's yeah. like I, I can't bring myself to buy physical for a handheld anymore it's true because it got stolen from his it's true from his trip i so so why why don't you get a digital copy assigned to your account when you buy the physical media right, right. i mean i guess you could then sell the physical media you know and then yeah so i get that i guess but yeah, yeah. just a game nerd i I actually have a, I actually have a one terabyte chip. Yeah, they <laughs> make they make the micro SDs and yeah, one terabytes. Uh, yeah, I I, I, I actually do have a one terabyte. I want to say I saw an article. Uh, it but was yeah, just yesterday. Only on an internal. No, I saw an article <laughs> yesterday that, that said the uh, Seagate's about to drop a twenty terabyte drive commercial, uh, for that's you nice. to for you using PC. I'm like twenty terabytes. That's crazy, man. That is that is insane. I'm I mean I'm ready, you know. Like <laughs> I could probably fill it up, you know. <laughs> it oh, is yeah. it's insane. Like I remember when four terabyte came out and they were like four hundred dollars a pop. You're like, holy crap, this is I'll never use this much. Like, yeah. Right. Yeah. Now people are upgrading away from like going past four terabytes. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like uh only got four terabytes i'm like good god what what is all this stuff my my one of the one of the first computers i i really worked on it was when i i had just i was probably 17 or 18 my father-in-law well he wasn't my father-in-law eh, no we must have been married anyways his computer had a uh it, we were putting a, a hundred megabyte drive in to replace like a four megabyte drive mm -hmm. and oh man i remember thinking it's just like i'm never going to use all this space this is crazy this is so awesome and i'm like it's so funny to think like god dude like that was that was nuts man crazy how far it's come it's pretty yeah, my, nuts yeah my our, our first family computer that had a hard drive was our apple 2gs had a 20 megabyte hard drive right Crazy. And it was like, wow, you have a hard drive. That's, yeah, that's insane. You can yeah. put so much stuff on that. Right, 20, right. 20 megabytes. Yeah, man, you can put like, you yeah. can put everything on there. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now, now, you, now, now, you, now you might be able to hold 
a couple of low quality MP3s. Yeah, right, right. You're not, you're not, uh, you're not even editing photos. You couldn't even put like raw photos on there anymore. You know, it's like it's crazy. You can't even fit a single photo. Yeah, right, right. It's like, huh? Well, that was, there goes my hard drive. Yeah, <laughs> jeez. Yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm holding off on upgrading the switch although i have had the thoughts of uh my so my kids basically have my switch now um mm -hmm. so it's like they they need their own switches i think and uh, uh i need my switch back so i guess if that ever happens then it'll, yeah. pr it'll probably be yeah. the new switch but maybe we can hold out but yeah, i don't it, it, it's definitely one of those it's like unless unless you are a hardcore handheld switch player sure I don't. I don't think. I don't think there's a reason to really run out and yeah. trade or get rid of your current if you already have a switch. Right. Right. Just to get the new one. Yeah. Couldn't see it. Couldn't see it. Yeah. Um. Let's see. In in other news. So, I, I, did we talk about the warehouse that got that got uh pegged for like the crypto? They were crypto mining. Um. I don't know if we talked we about it or not. Or did we? I think we did. It was. It oh, we was, might, yeah, yeah. We might have mentioned. I think we touched on it because yeah, it was like crypto. Yeah, yeah. So it was like crypto. But they also found a bunch of PS4s, and the original thought was that they were using PlayStation 4s to mine crypto, and that that tripped me out because like I mine crypto, and I'm like, how on earth are you efficiently mm -hmm. using a PlayStation 4 to mine? Like I don't, I can't wrap my head around it. Well, it turns out there were like three thousand eight hundred consoles, PlayStation 4s running. Uh, in this place, and they weren't mining crypto. They were farming FIFA uh, elite teams so that they could sell on their overall market. So I guess I guess the way FIFA works, which I haven't played a FIFA game since the original PlayStation, but yeah, uh, is is if yeah, you play long, long enough, game. yeah, it's been so long. If you play the game long enough, you earn in-game currency, and then you can use that in-game currency to go to like the PlayStation auction house and buy some of these elite players, right? Um, some of these elite players go for like millions of the in-game currency, and then you can put them on your like create a roster, right? Uh, or you can sell that player once you have it. And so I guess what they were doing was farming these coins to buy these players to sell them for money on the open market. I don't, I don't know how much money there is in that. I guess overseas, yeah. FIFA is probably more popular than it is here in the States, but I don't know. That's weird, right? It's like very strange, like very, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I, I, an interesting turn of events. Yeah, I'm glad I'm glad that they weren't <laughs> using those to mine crypto because I, I couldn't figure that out. And like I was about to order like 400 uh, PlayStation 4s. I'm glad I did. So <laughs> well, I, think, I think what it is, just a game nerd, I think it's you use the currency in that game on that console, you get that player. Yeah, once you, you get the player, you can the trade player. it. Mm -hmm. So now yeah. you can go on eBay and be like, hey, uh, I'll, you know, for a hundred bucks, I'll give you, you know, a uh, uh, Ronaldo or, you know, whoever, right? And then, and it was, it's classic players too. So it's like Pele, you know, right? Like, so it's like, it's all these players. So then, then you, you know, here's my gamer tag. You meet up, you trade the player to them, and then they have them without having to go through all that. So, and paying you an exuberant amount of money. Um, I was going to look earlier just to see. Yeah, method, method kind of makes me think of how, like, back in the day, and I know they, I know they probably still even do it now, but when I used to play Warcraft, how there were places that, you know, were creating. Uh, character like characters, you know, certain builds and stuff, and they would sell those, right? Or, or the ones who were selling in-game gold, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I've so heard of that. Would, they were farming the gold, and then you'd pay real money, and then yeah, they be in the game and transfer you the gold. Yeah, yeah. So here is a uh, done it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, everybody. I did it with uh, I did it with Diablo too. I used to sell. Mm -hmm. I used to sell gear and characters. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, I didn't have 3,800 friggin' computers farming it out for me, but. Oh, no, I, I, mean, I, I was the customer in that situation. I bought gold. Oh, nice, gold. nice. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, here's a team, here's a team built out uh, in FIFA 21. 
Uh, it's got Eden Hazard, Harry Kane. I'm I'm not I'm not familiar with soccer players, but uh, 150 dollars for this team. Um, there's another one here for 300 dollars for an ultimate team. Lots of good players. So 315 dollars for I mean, that's a lot of farming, man. I whew, yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that was that uh Diablo. Oh my god, we were so bad in Diablo too. You tell people how to, how to dupe items, you know, and you get someone mm -hmm. in your lobby and you you tell them, "Yeah, yeah, just drop it." And then we're going to close out of the lobby and and you just you just exit out of the lobby and when you come back, you'll have it in your inventory, and you'll have it there. So they drop all their awesome stuff and then leave the lobby mm -hmm. and we pick it up and leave. You know? <laughs> people were dumb. <laughs> people were so dumb. <laughs> like oh it was bad it was bad uh that was in my youth i should mention and uh i've always felt i always felt really bad for doing it so uh moving on um speaking of speaking of uh slime balls and scuzz buckets <laughs> so speaking of speaking of slime balls in the world yes. uh sega sega is being sued so how many how many of you in chat and youtube pixel have seen in the mall that cool little key game where the key goes into the hole and you, and you win like a switch or you win like an like an xbox an yeah, yeah like an ipad like a like a macbook and you're like oh my god that's like a that's like a seven thousand dollar prize and all i gotta do is put a dollar mm -hmm. in and get this key in the hole and it's so easy and 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 i've played them i've played them yep so i have I have never brought myself to play because I'm like, I, yeah, I, I told myself right after that, I'm like, there's no way. I'm gonna right, this. right, right, right. You look at it and you think there's always that thought of it's too good to be true. And listen to me, look at me. If it sounds too good to be true, it is right, right. It, it 100 is. Sega is being sued because it turns out it's gonna shock you that they were rigged not to pay out until after a number of plays. And according to the manual, the default setting was 700 plays before it was even possible for you to win. That's not right. 700 plays. That's 700 plays attempts per section. So if there's nine prizes in there, it's $700 or 700 attempts, $700 mm -hmm. per prize. And that's, that's how they were able to put such expensive and, and, and know, prizes in there. Mark. Then you have the chance to possibly exactly, have exactly. It's not automatic. Yep. Yeah. Then it then yeah. it turns into an actual skill based game at that mm -hmm. point. So, um, yeah. Needless to say, they're being sued because it was it was put out there as a it one hundred percent. It is just like a slot machine. It is it is a gambling machine it has nothing to do with skill uh right. it's it's a gambling machine and that's why they're getting sued unfortunately too that's the thing with a slot machine the slot machine tells you the odds yeah right this and, machine mm -hmm. has nothing to yep. say about it. absolutely nothing yep they, every 700 times you might have yep. a chance to win so sega sega's uh defense to it was well it was in the manual you know that we delivered with the machine i'm like dude play, players don't see the manual they don't have the manual hanging on the side of the machine like oh by the way you know like and so that's, and that's not to say that that wasn't turned up yeah exactly exactly it could have been it could have been all over the place and um so I'm sure, I'm, i'd be willing to bet you probably had some places where like we're like Oh, it goes up to five thousand. Okay, five thousand. Yeah, exactly. Like, yeah, like I'm, I'm putting a, yeah, I'm putting a two thousand uh, dollar iPad or or MacBook or whatever. You know, it's like we're gonna we're gonna do five thousand. Yeah, good luck. Mm -hmm. You know, um, so it's the it's the whoever the operator is of the machine. So if it's in an arcade, the arcade uh, malls and stuff, they'll they'll pay people to come around, like vendors and things like that, arcade vendors to come put those machines, service the machines, keep them up and running. Um, Sega has not admitted any fault, but at the same time, they no longer sell, uh, they no longer sell the Keymaster machines. They sell a prize locker machine on their site now. And uh, they're 100% skill-based. There is no, there is no minimum number 
So anyone that goes and tries to get one of these machines today will will see a prize locker. But the thing and is, you also, also notice that the prize locker doesn't happen to have the MacBook. Or exactly, iPad exactly. Yeah. Now all of a sudden it's like a Beanie Baby from like 1995. You're like, wait, what? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. But yeah. So Sega. Sega gets the money when people buy the machine, but the arcade, yeah, they collect all the whoever the whoever the owner of the machine is gets all the money um, to to get that. So it's it's completely insane. It's pure madness. As, yeah, the prize locker prizes is starting to look like the um, ticket counter at Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, right, right, right. It's like oh, a frisbee, sweet. Yeah, <laughs> yes. a whistle. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like this is awesome. Um Mike, you've got such amazing timing. Dude, did you send Mike a copy of the script? Oh my god, I can't believe it. What an amazing transition. Army Mike, you should welcome to the show, Army Mike. Ladies and gentlemen, did you guys hear? Did you guys hear that a Mario 64 seal sold for like 1.5 million dollars? This is pure badness. This is complete it's insanity. Garbage. Complete such insanity to me. Never seen such a price tag on a piece of trash. The, yeah, it's it's so, ladies and gentlemen, the worst Mario game ever created is now the highest selling Mario game ever created. And if you don't see the problem with that, I wow complete the game ever created. yeah the highest price the right game. right mario 64 yeah. is crap just a game nerd that's what i'm talking about give that man a gold <laughs> star he speaks the truth yeah. it, it's so bad it's 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 really it's awful <laughs> it's absolutely the worst i hate it i hate it so much um <laughs> if i was if i was a billionaire i'd have bought that mario 64 and i'd have lit that bad boy on fire right on stream too we'd have made a video and everything It'd been amazing yeah. oh, been God. amazing so here's <laughs> here's my mindset on all this wada and apparently so wada's been in a lot of trouble um i think someone just bought wada too yeah just acquired what was it three days yeah after? exactly yeah. crazy right crazy yeah. crazy so yeah the original games that started doing this as they started making money, the people that were buying these games were the people at WADA, were the people that were running the auctions, the people that were running. So, so listen, we have gotten to the point in our uh, hobby, right? Which, you know, I'm a game collector, right? You're a game collector. These people that are buying these games are not game collectors. They they are they are investors. It's just like somebody uh, uh, speculating stocks on the stock market. It, it they they don't care about Mario sixty four. They don't. They probably don't even own a Nintendo sixty four. They literally bought this game to hold on to it to either resell it or, or which I don't know, man. One point five million. That's got to be top of the mark. Like. <laughs> I have another more controversial take on on what it is. I'm excited. It is 1.56 million for a game that previously, I mean, what, what was it like? The, the the tops going for of original sealed, like super high graded, were like thirty thousand dollars. Yeah, right. That was like the not, not even not even six digits. All right. Right. It makes me it, it makes it makes it seem a little suspect the fact that this big price tag and there is no public knowledge of who the yeah there um, was. Yeah. As to where I'm not gonna throw not my words thrown this around, but some in the community have thrown out the word money laundering. Right. Exactly. Um, and an easy way to change hands of yeah. such an amount of money. Yeah. With, right. with to them a throwaway item. Sure. Sure. Um, because it has climbed to this point. Yeah, and it's it's right there. Yeah. Eight hundred seventy thousand. Eight hundred seventy thousand for a a game that was fifty bucks. You know. I. Right. You know, I, and we've talked about this before. Um, 
value value on things. So they're that you know, um, little Samson, one one of the rare uh, Nintendo games, right? I want to get a complete set of NES cartridges. So little Samson's on that list, right? It's a it's a fifteen hundred dollar game, eighteen hundred dollar game right now. So I'm uh, you know as as long as the missus isn't listening, I'm fully comfortable comfortable in spending that one day for that game to complete my collection, right? She she's about to pipe in and correct me, I'm sure. <laughs> so so but yeah, I know, I know. But, right, um, I've had the opportunity to buy this, and I have not yet, right? Okay, so I'd much rather find it for five bucks at a garage sale, trust me, you know? So, but, but value on things is what you assign to them. Something's only worth what something's willing to pay, right? That's like one of the first things my dad taught me, right? So just because I'm willing to pay eighteen hundred dollars for that little samson doesn't mean you are you know you're a video game collector right are you gonna pay eighteen hundred dollars for little samson ever probably not so it's like but we both love the games we both play the games right. we both love right. the consoles we you know we're, we're collectors yet we here we are you know and and that's mm -hmm. that's eighteen hundred dollars that's nowhere well, near now eighteen hundred and a rare game right right uh, uh exactly not, something that you don't see a lot of and, mm -hmm. yeah. right um and not the most common title people will tell you too like for a for a u.s set right you got to get the world championship card too man the gold world mm -hmm. championship card that's been six figures for a long time because i think there's less than 10 of them in the world right i want to say, say less than five yeah it might be more. For the gold ones, you're right. Yeah. So it, so it's like so now, you know. At least five known. We're yeah, right. We're we're. I'm not. I'm not saying that I'm going to buy it, but seeing someone pay that, I could understand that. You know, I could rationalize that. Um, I was big into sports card collecting too. Sports card collecting has gone the same route. Uh. It started off with like you get an insert in a pack and like, ooh, it's a it's a shinier card. It's got a different border. It's got this and that. Well, then that evolved into serial numbered cards, right? Now you know there's only a hundred of these cards in the whole world. And so that makes it special. And then that evolved into graded cards. And and you know, and and there that industry is going through a huge scandal right now because, you know, the the grades are are so bad. Uh, we talked a couple weeks ago about Pokemon cards and like Target. Target's not going to sell Pokemon cards anymore because here's the thing. That Mario 64, what did it grade at? It was like a 9.8, right? 9.6 or 9.8. That Mario 64 card is trash as soon as a 9.9 .9 comes along. Right. Right? Well, not, to mention, not to mention the fact that it's like it's such a common game too. There's still people who are sitting on on shipping boxes yeah crates of full game. of them yeah they're just where it's never open there they got six inches of dust on them and all they got to yeah. do is is open and send off now here's the rub right if you're the grader right and you have any sort of interest or investment in this because let's remember in the beginning it was them it was the graders it was the people who are buying these games right? right are you ever going to grade a game higher than the game you own a piece of or that you well, own I, well i think i think also to that same degree um like just a game nerd was mentioning about that because because it was an auction it was through because it was through heritage auctions right right right, right. and even even what those you know people in the community were saying you know with that that bad word there of of laundering it is still something that even that's not the case there's a way to basically make your create demand for your business right. as an auction site and as a grader yeah by just handing money back and forth between two parties yeah yeah because because remember nobody, they they get like 10 percent. exactly nobody's yeah. losing the money yep they're just to shift changing yep. hands back and forth right and every time yeah. every time the auction house gets 10 percent. you know every right. single time it happens um 
and yeah and so so here's the thing whenever you have whenever you have uh so you're exactly right with the stock market whenever you have parties that are that have something to gain from setting a price from from valuing something from like that you can't trust them like there there's too much room for right. corruption there you can you Manip- absolutely cannot yeah you cannot take the word you know if i am if i'm trying to sell you this mouse and i'm like this mouse is the most amazing mouse in the entire planet like you need to buy this mouse for 40 dollars for me right i'm going to tell you anything i have to tell you to get you to buy the mouse like i'm trying to sell you the mouse i want the money like i don't care about the mouse i want the money right it's the same thing that's happening. It's the same thing that's going on with with these these grading companies. And I'm telling you, when when the right box comes through, that's a nine point nine, or God forbid, a ten point oh. Because see, let's let's not forget a perfect ten, right? You can't beat a perfect ten. You want to know why there's never been a perfect ten, right? Because because that's the top of the mark, all right? You it's unbeatable, right? So yep. so now if there's a nine point nine that comes out right they might do it by point two i don't know their grading system but there there was there was card grading systems that would do it by half like 9.85 right and it's like you know coin grading is the same way anytime that your third party your independent of value like valuation is no longer independent it's not good man that's not good too much room for too much room for corruption, and and I think we're seeing it. I think you're saying the the whoever paid 1.56 million, you know. I again, okay. So I I'll go back to, I'm okay with 1,800 dollars for a little Samson, right? Uh, the misses 100 is not okay with 1,800 dollars for a little Samson. It's how we value money. The the person and you know just game nerd said it. You know they they have millions at the bank. If this guy's got billions and billions of dollars, maybe 1.5 million dollars isn't a big deal to him. Or her, right? <laughs> you are correct, sir. I'm just saying, it, you know, maybe they see it as as differently. So, so awesome. That's that's all fine and good, but you you have gone outside the stretches of rationality, right? Um, to to think that there's not something going on behind the scenes, whether it's money laundering, whether it's some sort of collusion, to you know. Yeah, exactly. Drum up business for both sides. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And and so to to say that exactly. there's not to think that there's nothing going on there, I think that's naive. There there has to yeah. be something other going on. Yeah, exactly, Mr. Swing. you you value it differently. You know what I'm saying? But but I guarantee if we found like a 2004 Cougar that had a busted up alternator was sitting on the side of the road for like 800 bucks, we'd probably buy that, right? You see what I'm saying? Like we value things differently, like everybody does, but but there's still that limit. There's still that limitation. And 1.5 million dollars. How much higher can it go? Like even if oh, you yeah. were, it, 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 I mean, it'll. I, I would imagine it would keep climbing. Yeah. The, the very the, the next one will probably go for more. Yeah. And and that's for exactly like you said. Um, yeah, just to gain market manipulation. Right. Market right. manipulation and the fact yep. that we're no longer in the game collector world. Yeah. It's it's become an an investment situation. Yep. Yeah, it's not game and collectors. It's it's people it's it's people playing the stock market with a different commodity. Right. And just like just like anything else is the value is only there if the demand is there right so right. the game that they just bought for 1.56 say, say it is just some some regular buyer yeah that, that they bought for 1.56 it could be worth go back down to being worth 200 bucks right? yeah right because right the market says no this is too common this is this and that yep. and that gets set out there they basically could have just paid for nothing right for absolutely nothing yeah no there you go mike yeah i dude i've i don't play magic i know about a black lotus card i know all about a black lotus card because i'm like if i ever see one i'm I'm gonna get it you know what i'm saying all right like like if i'm at a yard sale and i'm like hmm black lotus you know it's like stuff sticks out to you right Mm -hmm. but i'm telling you right now 
you got a three cent piece of cardboard until you get the money. Until you get that money, you got three cent. And that's where I think the cool thing about uh, grading and authentication and them sealing it in that, that nice piece of plastic and knowing that it's entombed at that value by that independent, you know, evaluator. And, and, you know, if it was pure like that, if they were, if they were true third parties, then, you know, that's awesome. That's great for what it is, you know, cause that's what you do. You take that black Lotus and you, you, uh, you, you put it in some, some sort of like heavy armored container and you get it to those guys and you let them, you let them grade it and you throw it in that. And now all of a sudden, dude, you got a gold mine, you know, okay. but only if it sells, you know, and let's not forget too, uh, some of these, uh, the, the people that, that grade, uh, games, their, their pricing scale to grade games and coins and, and cards, it's based on the value of the item they're grading. Right. So the fees are directly equated to, well, if it's worth between this and this, then our fee is this. If it's worth between this and this, our fee is this. And it's like, okay, but you're doing the same level of work no matter how much it's worth because it's just a video game, right? So this video game should be graded the same way as this $20 video game, right? Right? Well, no, that's... One would think yeah but, exactly yeah. and that's and they're so they're not doing that so it's like it's on on every level there is there is corruption just not good not good yeah. oh black lotus at a garage sale dude that's wow. crazy yeah you're right just a game nerd it's yeah it, eventually i mean i mean that's how it already is with the retro stuff yeah it is, it is you can only get through third parties there right. is no more no more purchasing it from the manufacturer. It's that's yeah. it's true. It's, it's true. Fast. I I I don't know, just a game nerd. I can't I can't get on board with with that statement with double the price. Consider scalping because again, it's it's you know you you, you know a sixty five Corvette retailed for you know fifty eight hundred bucks. So you tell me 65 Corvette should never sell for more than, you know, 12 grand like that. You know what I mean? Like that's, there's, that's, that's what makes our economy so great. That's what makes capitalism so awesome is that, you know, you can price, I, I will tell you, this is a $4,000 mouse, right? And anybody that wants to buy it, DM me, we're going to get together. I'm going to ship it to you. It's going to be, I'll cover shipping. Don't worry about it. I got you but you don't have to pay for it. You know what I mean? You, you're smart enough as a consumer to understand that this is not a $4,000 mouse, that there's that this mouse is 20 bucks at Best Buy. You know what I mean? And I, so I think it's, I think it's, you know, I, I don't think you can say stuff. I don't, I don't think you can, you can hold people to a limit, but I think it does fall back on the consumer to say, um, yeah, that's true too. Because there's there's a lot of people like like, and we've talked about this before with like scalpers and and you know current production things versus classic things, right? Right? Like right, right. 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 So like like you know the a, video a, cards a and the mm -hmm, exactly when it becomes and and even then it's not a legality thing. It's more of like a moral and ethic you know like like conversation. But um, thirty dollars for two hundred bucks. For two hundred cards and those black lotus in there, that's ridiculous. Wow! You need you need to go punch your friend in the face and steal his cards because that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> that's freaking sick, man. That is a, that is a crazy expensive card. Um. Yeah, and that's true. They've got the they've got the money. They've got the buying power. They've got the people to to go out there and and buy things up and and yeah and then. Once you, so so we were joking earlier about AMC. That's what us as investors are are honestly trying to do. Um, the the AMC buy and run up uh, only works if everyone buys and holds because then we control the market, we control the price, and then you know to the moon, diamond hands, apes, hold them. Yep. <laughs> but <laughs> but you know if if everyone's not doing that, then you can't. But that's what companies do is they control the market share. You know, like like the the people that like Wall Street bets are going against these citadels and these these hedge fund managers. They control such a 
such a huge chunk of the stock. It's it's crazy. He's got two black lotuses. You should punch him and then kick him and take them both. Get them both. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I, I do think we've gotten to the point where, you know, you, you see sales like that. It's not, it's not, um, it's not collectors anymore. It's, it's investors, it's speculators. Yeah. It's they're, they're in the game for a different reason and that's okay. You know, it's like some people really don't like it for me. Like I, I'm never putting a bid on a, a Mario 64 that's higher than $3 anyway, cause the game sucks. But like, like I'm okay with other people doing it. Go ahead. Like I don't, I don't feel like you're affecting me down here in my world. Um, also, to that regard too, it's like I think because I'm, I'm, I'd be approaching it from the gamer perspective that I'm not buying anything that's sealed in a case. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm, 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 I'm not gonna buy yep. a, a sealed. Game at I all. I do not have. I'm the same way. I have passed on, uh, not sealed as much, but CIB games. Um, I have passed uh, uh, on CIB games because I I don't want to pay the markup on them. You know what I mean? Um, not to mention, not to mention that it also starts you down that path of well, I have one complete box. Right, right, right. Now, Seem yep. off. I need to get more yep. box. God, and I've seen a lot of people going down that path, and I'm like, ah, man, I want to pull it off the shelf. Blow it out, it. throw it in, and rock and roll. You know, it's like, I, yeah, I don't, I don't like the. And my buddy that runs the game shop here, he's he's gotten in games that I've needed for my collection, uh, and he's made me a great deal on like sealed ones. And I'm like, dude, I, yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna pay you the the sixty percent, eighty percent markup, and then I'm gonna kill it by opening it. You know, and it's like, right. just can't right. do it. Um, He's exactly just a gamer. Yeah, right, like, right, right. Opportunities. <laughs> yeah, it's like, oh, George, have I told you about my Mario 64? <laughs> Bring your camera. This is great. You should come check it out with me. We'll have tea and discuss the 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 the, the awesomeness of my purchase. <laughs> it's got to be something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's got it's gotta be close, right? <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Bring bring the car around. We'll go down to the garage and look at it. <laughs> yeah, I, I I don't understand it. Um It's it's crazy. We should, get, we, should, we should we should get a Mario 64 in box yeah. and put it in a plastic case so it looks like one of those. Yeah. And where it belongs under the plunger next to the toilet. That's right. That's right. Snap a picture of it. And then uh, on stream, just light it on fire. Just, just mm. such a horrible game. I couldn't believe, like, I was, I, I, as soon as I saw it was Mario 64, I'm like, God dang, like, this game's going to sell for a lot. And then I'm going to hear about, oh, I thought it was a horrible game. It is a horrible game. It's awful. Awful game. Um, well, yeah, I mean, you think of it that way. I mean, it, it just blows my mind though because it is one of the most common possible right, games. Right, right. I guarantee, I guarantee whoever bought it doesn't even own a sixty-four. Probably never even right. played it. And they're just like video games. But even, right. but even talking <laughs> about games being you know awful and costing a lot of money, it's like um, Little Samson is one of the exceptions to the rule. Yeah, it's actually a fun game. Yeah, it's in, it's an enjoyable game. Yeah. But the fact of how much money the NWC card costs. Right. Right. It's not even full game. No, mm -mm, they're little snippets. Just, little snippets yes. of three games. Three super common, not great games. Like, well, good games, but not, not, they're just snippets. It's like, yeah. Right. It's not um, something like, oh, what are you going to do tonight? Oh, I'm going to sit back and play yep. some NWC. It's yeah. Like, you're right. It's for you're right. The whole 15 minutes that you spend on that card. Exactly. You're literally selling the nostalgia of every kid that watched it on TV that saw it, you know, in the mall when they were doing their, you know, it's like, it's crazy. We're going to buy that yeah. one too, Mrs. That one's only like a hundred grand right now, though. So. It'll be cool. And uh, stadium events. Well, so there's one that's got some clout to it because the, the name change. Like, there's there's yeah. so few copies of that as actual stadium events, you know, before it switched over to, like, track and field. Yeah, that's it. No big mm -hmm. deal. We'll mortgage the house, so it'll be fine. Um, <laughs> it'll be good. Don't even worry about it. It's just paperwork. I'll have you sign. Yeah, it'll be fine. I'm sure it's going up in value. 
but <laughs> so and, and i will say that too being a video game collector to me yeah who needs ac who needs to eat it's it's not a big deal being a video game collector <laughs> does have that added um i'm going to say value but there is value to the games there is value to like most of my collection was found in the wild at a decent buy you know i've paid market for some things but most of my stuff you know i'm ahead on you know so that helps i think knowing that you can you can cash in on you know something like that but but i don't think i'm selling anything for 1.5 million so sorry about that uh, <laughs> yeah that's yeah like a, that's like a cash out yeah right or you just right the room and be like, like okay yeah five mil okay, yeah right five. exactly i know i know I, i'm not gonna lie like if it, it goes back we were joking about it but seriously these these people with this wealth i mean all they have is like bragging rights to their friends hey you remember that 1.5 million dollar mario yeah i bought it I bought it. I bought it. You want to see it? You know, you want to see it? You want to, you want to touch it? You know, it's like, that's, that's what it is. It's like, eh, I'll never be there. I guess, I, I guess. You use it as a coaster for the wine glasses. Yeah. Right, right, right. It's like, what is this? This is crazy. It's like infinity stones in the drawer. Like, yeah, whatever. <laughs> you know, there it is. Yeah. And, and end of stream you you pretty yeah. much wrapped it all yeah. up right and we're back <laughs> it's like it is <laughs> it's just a penny stones in the drawer like it's like whatever it's paperweights oh you got mario 64 huh huh i got i got a few of those you a few of those nice <laughs> some guys use yeah that's right that's right yeah for 400 bucks i'll let you sniff it <laughs> In in uh in, in not so crazy news, but still kind of crazy to me, I think. Uh Valve announced their Stream Deck handheld PC. So uh, uh I uh, Steam Deck. I yeah, yeah Steam the, not Stream, Steam. Is, yeah, that's like the biggest problem right there. <laughs> Steam Deck, yeah, because it's Stream, Steam, Switch. I man, I don't know. So not, not this. <laughs> yeah, 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 not a Steam Deck, not a not a Steam Deck, a Stream. No, 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 Steam, and I've gone cross-eyed. It's completely yes. insane. <laughs> oh, four hundred fifty million bucks. That's easy. I'll write a check. That's... Hit me up, Mike. I'll, I got you. If you you got one of those Da Vinci's, um, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Salvador Monday. Uh, yeah. So it, it came in three flavors. It started at like what two hundred and seventy, and went all the way up to like. What almost seven hundred or something like that? Um, basically, uh, it didn't start low. I thought it started three ninety nine. Oh, did it really? I thought there was a two hundred and seventy <laughs> version that just ran SD cards. No, I thought it started at three ninety nine. It is. See, you can't even like you can't even Google it right now because Stream Deck shows up too. Right, I know. Yeah, so it starts at three ninety nine. Three ninety nine. For sixty four gig. Wow. Five twenty nine for a two fifty six, and six forty nine for a five twelve. Six hundred and fifty bucks. They also all take uh, SD, also. Okay, and and can't uh, I, I thought I thought I, you five can, twelve isn't going to get you a whole lot. Yeah, no, and I think you can put um. I think you can put uh, the M2 drives in any of them. I think I was reading that it looked like people were guessing. Hey, what's up, Fur? It looked like people Fur. were guessing that you could uh, you could put in an M2. There was gonna be an M2 slot in every one. Um, I, yeah. Okay. So uh, so uh, just like the Nintendo, I I didn't rush out and pre-order this. I I don't have I don't have any desire. I see the, I see the, the, like, again, if you're, if you travel a lot, having your whole, um, Steam library on, you know, in your hand, taking it anywhere, that's kind of cool, you know, that's, that's kind of neat, but it's, it's not the same, it's a smaller screen, they've locked it to, like, 30 FPS, so you're not, you're not playing Apex, you know what I'm saying, like, you're not, you're not gonna go play this shooter where you want really high performance, you know, I I don't I don't know. Uh, I think I think you're right, Wolf. I I 
I don't know about 149, but I think yeah. we're going to start seeing price drops. Oh, yeah. 100%. Once, once it launches. I'll tell you, I'll tell you. So, so you put that same console at 149. Now I'm going to buy it to mod it. I'm going to buy it just mm -hmm. to, just to hack it up and see what I can do with it. Um, and I think the modding scene on it's going to be really cool. I think it's going to be really neat oh, yeah. to see what, what people do with it. But, um, like just to play, uh, the, the 400 games I have in my Steam library that I'm never going to play anyway. Uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be a big, it, at least where I could see the niche for it would be big for indie and emulation. Sure. Sure. Is, is it'll excel. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I'm not going to play. Yeah. I, I mean, on Steam, I'm not, I'm not going to play. Resident Evil Village. Yeah, right. Right. On the Steam Deck at right. 30 frames, maybe 30 frames. Right, second, right. At 720p. Yeah. It's just, it's, when yeah. You can sit at your computer and actually see the game how it's supposed to look. Right, right. And it, it, I understand being able to take a game on the road. And like you said, the indie games emulation will be really cool. Uh, I don't know. But any of your competitive shooters, uh, even your story driven, you know, like Village, um, I, I think about like that control game that you're playing, um, mm -hmm. really immersive, really neat game. That'd be that'd be a fun game. Right. If you were in the middle of and you had to go on a work trip for a week, that's a cool game that you could you could pick up and play. But but I, you know, I now, just that was, now that was one of the things that in their preview footage of that. You actually saw a glimpse of control. Yeah, played. I saw that too. It, I saw that too. It was not smooth. Yeah, yeah. It was it was noticeably choppy. Yeah, on the yeah. And that's kind of a. Was that really smart to put that in? Yeah, here? So no. Cool? Yeah, I would not have gone not so even, strong. Yeah, if you're not <laughs> smooth. Right, right. I, and and that's the that's the other side to it too is you're playing the PC versions of the game, so you have all the graphics sliders. Yeah. Yep. How low are you going to have to drop? Yeah. I mean, there's no way you could you could play it any sort of high res, high settings. Definitely not ultra. Definitely. I, I couldn't even see yeah. high on most of the game. Not even, the games I play. Even, even being bumped down to 720p. Well, I, yeah. I know it's 1280 by 800, so it's right. a 1610. Display, right, but, right. Yeah, I just, I don't that. know. I don't, I don't understand. And it was it, I think only certain models were going to have, I think certain models were only going to have TV out or were any of them going to have TV out? I, you know, that's the part, I actually don't know anything about the TV out part. Because like if, okay, so go back to the portability, being able to take. There's a, a dock that could be sold separately. Oh, uh, Okay. That's so you could take that with you and and game it at at a hotel room or something. No price, no price for the dock though. Yeah. Is it going to be? A, are we looking at a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars for a dock? Right. Yeah, and then and then what kind of TV are you plugging it into? Now that's your. I don't know. I like I. I know what they're thinking. Okay, so. Like who's competing with the Switch right now? Like there, there are not a lot of handhelds in the world. There's not the portable market. Even Nintendo themselves have. It seems like they're going away from the the 3DS. Um, mm -hmm. I will say, I will say, coincidentally, uh, side note, I did sell that Super Nintendo 3DS I had on uh, eBay for six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars, wow. yeah, completely insane. Wow. Yep, somebody, somebody snatched that right up. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, it's all what people value it. I value that cash more because I bought it off Amazon for like 150. They were like closing them out, and it just sat on the shelf because like I had a I had a 3ds XL, so I was like, oh, that's cool, whatever. I'll throw it on the shelf again. Another 150 dollar thing. Like sure, why not sell it for 600 bucks? Like well, there you go. But yeah. capitalism yeah, at right. its finest, it's... you know. Yeah, you're right though. It's like it's value it the cost is whatever you place the value yep, on it exactly and i dude, i'm I, I couldn't believe i sold it it was crazy but um yeah I, I just i can't see i can't see this being a big thing i'll be honest though i do hope it comes down in price because i would love to get a hold of one to to tweak and mod i think that'd be really cool 
Um, if, yeah, if, if it came down in price, I'd pick one up for exactly the indies. You yeah, know, yeah. The indies and, and emulation. Sure, sure. So that, that'd be kind of neat, but... Uh, it, and it kind of sounds like everybody else is on the same mindset, so that's good. I thought I thought for sure someone was going to be like, oh, "Are you crazy?" I ordered three of them. Like it's going to change my life, but <laughs> it's, we we didn't get that. <laughs> oh yeah, that's true. Oh, yeah. yeah, the values yeah. values of stuff is is up right now. I started. Yeah, right. Wait, what are you talking about? I started. Um. I started going through my my collection and, and thinning some stuff out. I will say here's here's something I wasn't a fan of. So eBay's gotten away from PayPal. Uh, they don't ex they don't let you use PayPal as payment anymore. Um, it goes straight to your bank account. Well, it goes to like your you have like this eBay wallet now, and then you can have it transfer to your bank account, or you can use that as like eBay. It like stays in the eBay you know ecosystem. eBay charged me for the six hundred dollar. Uh, console that I sold. eBay charged me $87 to sell that console. Wow. $87 wow. out of $600. i am like, I'm not selling on eBay anymore. Like, bump that. Like, I just, ugh. Like, eh. yeah. That's, it was it was rough, man. That's, it was that's a little bit more than that. Yeah, it was, I could not believe it. I was like, I, I, I don't, I guess I didn't read the fine print enough, but I didn't, I've sold on eBay before and when I was selling with PayPal, it didn't, I didn't feel like it was that bad, but I don't know if that's that the, but yeah, makes me rethink the, the the even slight notion of parting with my thirty ninety. Yeah, right, right. Not on eBay. Yep. No. Nope. Kind of, yeah. uh, no. Nope. Kind of cut really take into that. Yeah, it's crazy. It's it's insane. I I I I have to go back and read exactly what the percentage. But yeah, I was pretty upset to see that. Um, because then I mean, by the time I shipped it, because I I covered the shipping for it, uh, which I was totally cool with. Uh, you know, yeah, it's like, dude, it, it cost me a hundred dollars to sell, sell my six hundred dollar. You know, still yeah, happy with five hundred dollars on it, but still, it's like, geez, that's a, that's a serious with chunk, my, man. With with my poor on the fly math skills, that's gotta be what, like fifteen percent? Yeah, fifteen, fifteen to twenty percent, right in there. Yeah, yeah, because it's, yeah, dude, sucks, man. I'm like, kind of done with eBay now. They can keep yeah, that. Wow. Yeah, PayPal. So PayPal, I think PayPal got a bad taste in everyone's mouth because PayPal, a lot of people scammed people with PayPal. Um, PayPal was an avenue for people to scam a lot of sellers on eBay. I know a lot of, especially game sellers too. Uh, a lot of buddies of mine, they make their living. Like that's that's their job. They buy and sell on eBay. And um, yeah, they 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 would get screwed every so often. By someone that says they didn't get it, says they didn't do it. Um, yeah, yeah, I know, but uh, apparently not. Uh, like, well, apparently they have they have separated themselves from it. They've gone separate ways. You know, that's how Elon Musk made all his money. He came up with PayPal. He was one of the one of the founding fathers of PayPal. But side note, just G whiz type stuff. But, um, yeah, so yeah, eBay eBay does not accept PayPal anymore, and yeah, you can't get paid out through PayPal. It's crazy. It's pure madness. So, um, and I think their seller fees have gone up too because that that was a lot of money for out of six hundred bucks. But, um, let's see what else. I um I so this is actually exciting to me. Did you ever play Crimson Skies on the original Xbox? I know of it. I have never played it. Dude, such an awesome game. You got to crack that one open. It's such an awesome... And it's a cheap game, too. It's a $20 game. You know, you can find them all over the place. Such an awesome game. Well ahead of its time uh, for OG Xbox. It's coming to Game Pass. So I'm excited to see how it looks and how it plays on Game Pass, uh, since it'll be obviously, like, emulated. But, um, God, such a good game. Such a fun game. So that's coming to, to Game Pass this month, this month, or next month. Um, Game Pass. I mean, not enough to, to turn into a commercial for Game Pass. Yeah, yeah. Game Pass is killing it. Mm -hmm. Like, oh yeah, I, I, dude. Like, I, I look, I look at Steam. No, yeah. Nothing against Steam, or but I, yeah. I look at Steam and I'm like, no. I mean, I got a huge library in Game Pass. I'll just find something there to play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For the most part. Uh, Unless I did, it's a game that's been on my radar for a while, and then I will. Uh, right, deviate. right. I don't know if they were going to make this one cross-platform or not. Uh, 
But technically speaking, on Game Pass, uh, you could have it on 360 because it was it was on 360 games with gold way back in the day. Mm -hmm. Um, and then yeah, it'll be on Xbox One just from the uh from it being on Game Pass. Um, uh, that's a good question though. But a lot of fun, lots, lot of fun. Um, let's see. Yeah, I saved, save the Game Pass saved me forty bucks, thirty bucks for um the game that just showed up last week, um Chris Tales. I don't know if you saw that. Show oh, up there. yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah, that, that cool like RPG style game. I've had that on my wish list forever on the Switch. Nice. And, I'm like, I'm like, I wonder if it's on Game Pass. And I look, and there it is. So I'm like, and delete from my Switch wish list. Right, right, right. That's awesome. Dude, that's yeah, that's was, pretty sweet. Because I made the mistake of, not not mistake, I enjoyed the game. But, like, I bought a Streets of Rage 4 on the Switch at launch. Oh, nice. Which appeared on Game Pass at launch. Right, right, but right. I never have to look, because I'm like, well... Streets of Rage isn't a Microsoft game. It's not going to be there on day one. Yeah. But then now, they're, now they're doing day one for so long. Right, much. right. That's crazy. Have, have a good night, Army Mike. Yeah, Switch thanks for... Out. Yeah, appreciate you, Army Mike. Have, a, have an awesome night, man. Thanks. Modern Vintage Camera. Yeah, I'll check that out. That's really cool. I, um... I, uh... uh what was it? Final Fight? Final Fight 4, right? Isn't that the one that just came out not too long ago? That's what you were saying? Yeah, Streets of Rage 4. Streets of Rage 4. Is that the one yeah. that has the mode? It's got that, like, uh... It's like a wave, like a horde-type mode where they all come at you, I think. I don't know. Maybe not. It Off the subject. I was I was thinking okay. about that earlier. It's like, uh... Thinking about different games to play, but... Um... Yeah, no, Crimson Skies, I'm... I, dude, I'm loving Game Pass, too. And I, I think the mm -hmm. way that they're going at it, uh... They they're doing it smart. I think I think that's their their competition with Steam and Epic and all these other game where you know PC gamers are getting free games, good decent games for free all the yeah. time, and so Xbox is they're they're being smart about it. They're they're getting I, in I, that I game. I hate to say it, it's like I mean, j jumping back to Valve with the Steam Deck, Xbox, Microsoft, come on, give us give us handheld. Right, right, right. Yeah, like that, that, that. that would be crazy. That would be pretty yeah. nuts. Like I, I could see that for sure. Um, because because then you're then you're not going from these ultimate PCs down to this. You're going from a console to a to a to a like a, a reduced me. console. Yeah, right. So right. it's not bad. Hmm, that would be cool. Uh, did you see the Did you see the Google's uh, doodle for the Tokyo Olympics? I did. That's I did. that's pretty neat. Like, yeah. it's how much did you play of it? Like, I sat there and played it for a while. Like, wow, that's freaking nuts, oh, man. Just a few minutes, just a few minutes, but yeah, it was it was really cool. It's impressive yeah, how I was like, wow, this is this is really this is not bad, you know? Yeah, pretty good. But they're all in on the video game world. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. I dude, yeah, the music, the everything was great. Yeah, the opening ceremony, yeah, the all the ceremony. tracks. Yeah, there were like, so many tracks. I, I'm not a huge Olympics person. Like, yeah. I mean, I'll check out you know highlights from this and that. Sure, sure. But when I heard that they did video game music, right, for the, the countries for the you know right. the, the entrance and opening ceremonies, yeah, like okay, I can see this. This is pretty and awesome. I watched it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, Final yeah. Fantasy yeah. music. Your ears Sonic perked up. You're like, wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your ears perked up. You're like, man, this is cool. Like, I, I like the Olympics. Like, I enjoy them, but I. I haven't been so into them this year. Like I, I like watching them, but yeah, the the opening ceremony. Someone made a pretty good list. Um, the opening ceremony where the the flags where each country comes out and all their yeah all their their people come out and they light the torch and everything. Um, dude, it's yeah. It was most of them. There were a lot. I don't know if all of them was it all. Was it every country? Most of them had. There were a lot of. So they did. Let's see. Okay, I know there's a list here. Yeah, there it is. Okay, I made a pretty good it one. It is. On. Yeah, we did some music from ta the Tales of series, like yep. Symphonia. Mm -hmm. You know that they did Monster Hunter, Kingdom Hearts, Chrono Trigger, Ace Combat, 
uh, Sonic the Hedgehog, yeah. Winning Eleven, Final Fantasy, Fantasy Star Universe, Gradius, Near yeah. Automata. Yeah, uh, Ace Combat. Yeah. Dragon just, Quest, yeah. Monster Hunter, uh, Kingdom Hearts. It was some Kingdom Hearts music. Chrono Trigger, yeah. yeah it was. It, it, it's nuts. Like, I, I mean, pretty cool. Feel old. Yeah. Not, 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 right. Our, our interests are being represented. In right. Music. Right. Yeah. You're kind of like, oh, wow. Jeez. Yeah. Like, it's nuts. But it's it, totally cool. Very worth checking yeah. out. It's all over YouTube, okay. too. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a good one. Um, so uh, another kind of interesting. So Amazon news. Have you heard there? Have you played? Do you play MMOs? You ever, you ever gotten into them? Um, I, I I did some. I did some uh, World of Warcraft. I right. did Terra. I did um the Old Republic. Right. I yeah. You know, I think the, I think like Old Republic. Yeah, it's been a long time. Uh, fourteen. Uh, Never Winter might have been the most recent for me. Yeah, I, I haven't played, I haven't played a ton of them. Um, but apparently, so yeah, no, they're they're interesting. I think they're I just, funner with a group of people. You know, like it, the just, the the quest grinding just it drags on me. After you, you can only go out and collect the bones of this creature a hundred times before I'm like, okay, I'm done. You know, like, not, to, not, not to mention even when you do get really into it, the fact that it starts to uh, monopolize your time. Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Yeah, once you... Man, I got this guy I work with, man. He uh, he he plays WoW like crazy. He goes on these raids, and it's like they schedule this out. It's like it's like on the calendar, like eight hours tonight, we're going to do this raid, this section. I'm like, holy crap, sounds like a job. Like, it sounds like, well, it kind of is, because this is my part, and this is his part, and this is their part, and this is the... And I'm like, it's like, wow, dude. Like, mm -hmm. like you're not playing games anymore, right? So... Amazon came out with a new one. Uh, I think it's still in beta, uh, and it's called New World. It looks pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty much like a job. Yeah, it's like your second life, right? Yeah, I I'd like to. We played we played you know uh, Galaxies back in the day. We played you know, and it was it was cool, but it's like man, I don't know, I don't know. But uh, this one is nice. Uh, they uh, all the reviews on it are really good. Like it's gonna be it's going to be the next one that could actually compete with wow and stuff. And it kind of, I felt like it came out of nowhere, but see, I don't follow a lot of, I don't follow a lot of uh, like MMO news. So you know, maybe people that are into that, it was coming out. But the cool thing is, is that the game is bricking uh, NVIDIA video cards and it's, it's specifically, which manufacturer was it? Uh, they had said they found it to be, mainly EVGA cards. EVGA cards which is like dude I usually they're my go to like they're the higher end I love EVGA only, cards they're built well only the 3090s. yeah yeah crazy so 3090 EVGA cards uh there was a setting in the game that would ramp the the cooling fans on the 3090s up to like what like 200,000 rpm or something yeah. Yeah, calling calling for the card to turn the fans up to 200,000 rpms <laughs> completely insane <laughs> yeah and, and reached two hundred thousand. Right? Needless to say, uh, cards cards were not reacting well. So that that brand new two thousand dollar card you got in your rig is now trash. A lot of people have had them, had them crash out. And so the the game's trying to they're trying to come up with ways to to fix it, but completely insane. Yeah, right. Exactly. You you never know. Maybe the PC is going to take off and do some things. I I don't know, but yeah. I mean, I. I, I want to know what that sounded like. Oh my god! Yeah, it's got to be like it, a it, like an APU, like a small jet engine or something, just like spooling up, and you're just like, you know, like yeah. like like server fans, you know, like when they when they start spinning up, you're like, wow, oh, I know, I would be so upset because it's not like you can't even send it back to EVGA and and hope to get another one or get it fixed. Right, like you're just you're just totally out of luck, man. Like, actually, actually huh. they did they did say that they are covering the replacements for it. Sure, sure, but but when? And, 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 and that's where it brought up a whole another conversation is the fact that they said they were gonna have replacements for people RMAing ones who were damaged from this because they have thirty nine to replace them. Yeah, they've got them hanging around. So, yeah. So, 
so that brought out the other side of things of why do you have yeah, all these like, 30 90s? Uh, yeah like wait a minute you know yeah it was that was one of the things i was talking to the guy in micro center this past weekend i was asking you know you got any 3080s like because i i wouldn't mind a 3080 ti like that'd be kind of cool uh, and he's like, no, nah, we get them in bundles. So we've got them in bundles you can buy. And we've got them, uh, we've got uh, we've got a portion set off to the side for our system builds, which by the way, it's a $3,000 computer, you know, if you want them to build it for you. Um, and I'm like, I'm like, okay, I'm like, so, you know, between you and me and the fence post, like how many are we talking about? Do you have off to the side for your system builds? You know, and he's like, you wouldn't want to know. And I'm like, come on, you got to You got to tell me. Uh, it was more than 30 that they had in the bag. I'm not going to say the exact number, but it was over 30 that they had in the bag. And I'm just like, wow. come on, man. Like, I could understand five, Even maybe, maybe. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Maybe 10, 12 of them. But to sit to sit on thirty of them when you got people lining up every day before you open, I'm like, come on, guys! Like, come on, you know? Like, mm -hmm. weren't we just talking about market manipulation? Come on, you know? Like, it's crazy! It's crazy. The artificial creation of demand. Yeah, yeah. Right there. I'll tell you though. You know, line up at our store, but we'll only sell two. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Uh, and, and we got three in, but this one's going in the lottery that that our regulars entered, and you know, Jimbo got his fourth one this month. So you know, uh, <laughs> we. Um, but interesting enough, uh, they did announce. There's there's rumors of the 40 series coming out late next year. Already, they're talking about moving to the next series. I feel like from the the 10 series to the 20 series there was a huge gap wasn't there oh like, there was I like think there was i feel like that was such a huge gap forever. yeah yeah and then the 20 series I mean, lasted about what a year or two right yeah. yeah and i'm yeah. like i don't like man i can't believe they're already talking about i can't believe they're already talking about dropping the new series although that's great though because now i you know totally don't need a 3080 i'll just wait yeah <laughs> It's crazy. Yeah, I yeah, I think you're you're right. Bell. There was there was yeah. absolutely no competition for them, you know, with the 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 10 1080s and 1060s like there there was no competition at all. Um Yeah, yeah until, until they introduced until they introduced the idea of ray tracing. Yeah, yeah. The, the 10 series was right taking care of it. Right. Yeah, cuz the 10 series was would work with like DirectX 12 and everything, right? Like it was all yeah. compatible, so yeah, there was yeah. no reason to really. Yeah, that's pretty neat. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. That was crazy. Uh, but yeah, so if if the if the rumors are true, uh, looks like they're going to a smaller chipset. Um, I don't know the the person that puts out these rumors. Which once again, we talked about listening to rumors earlier, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, the person that puts them out is actually pretty good about um being spot on uh with, with them so uh, i don't know i don't know um oh yeah 28 super is awesome in fact that's i just put it in the in my new stream rig like just to do us that's how i was able to blur the background so i put a i put a 1300 dollars video card in so i get a blurry background on my webcam but yeah whatever <laughs> I'll talk yeah. about that later. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I enjoyed it as well. Yeah, right, right, right. Nice. I'm like, nice. Oh, I love that blurry background. Yes. I need it too. That's right. Woo! Hey, winning. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, be a streamer, yes. they said. It's so much fun. It's awesome. Spend tons of money. You know, create content this is, for this is the most <laughs> expensive backdrop I have ever had. <laughs> Right, right. I can, I can never think to have. <laughs> it's freaking insane. Yeah. Pretty pretty nuts. Um all right, so the the last thing uh, this is this is actually going to kind of take us back to some stuff we talked about earlier. Uh, the last thing we had tonight. So I don't know how many of you've heard. Um, I think it's the state of California has issued a lawsuit um, against Activision and Blizzard. I'm pretty sure it's California uh, that issued it um, for uh, harassment. I think specifically sexual harassment in the workplace and like equal treatment of workers and things like that. And what we're finding out is people that have worked for Blizzard, people that have worked for Activision are coming out now saying how how much of a toxic environment it is, like how bad um, 
that it really was, especially I think I think specifically for females in the workplace, like uh, just their treatment. Um, and and I I don't think we're we're on the cusp of you know equal pay and things like that. I think there was some serious like harassment happening. Um, yeah, actual, actual problem. Yeah, like 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 people. I think I think people feared for their their jobs and their careers. And it's it's funny. So like um, and well being. Yeah, right. And it, it, yeah. it's completely the same. Yeah. yeah, right. It is. Yeah, you're, it's 100% right. It's it's interesting to me. So like um, I let, let you know, so I, I work for the government. So we're we're ingrained with this, you know, like two or three times a year. We have these these training sessions on, you know, don't don't step out of line. Don't it. It's I don't know. I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm alone in this. It was kind of shocking for me to hear about a company like Activision, you know, even Blizzard is, is a pretty big name in the industry to be dealing with this on such a level. Like I, I was really surprised at the things that are coming out and it's, it's, it's a shame that we're hearing about it. You're hearing more about it now from previous employees of the company that are just now coming out. So I'm like, man, like, where were you two years ago when you worked for the company? Like, you know, it's, it's awesome that you're saying it now. And I'm, I'm that's awesome that it's getting put out there, but we couldn't say anything like two years ago when you were working there. Like, you know, I, dude, it's crazy to me to think that this, this is still happening, which I mean, obviously it is. It's like, I, I don't, I can't, I can't imagine having a, a place and it, it happens a lot of places. It, you know, I I say I work for the government. It happens in the government, you know, all the time. But mm -hmm. it's crazy to think that, you know, a a company, you know, a California based company, a you know, like like a lot of the a lot of the people in that state, a lot of the industries, Hollywood and things like that. You know, they champion, uh, you know, women's rights and and you know, and, and tolerance and equality and things like that. And to think that something like this is still happening is kind of crazy. Um, it's insane. Some of the stuff that's coming out, some of the stories that's being told, um, you kind of got to weed through it. Cause some of the stuff I got reading one post the other day that turned out, I don't think was true. So I, yeah, I don't want to say anything specific, but it's like, yeah, you know, I, you know, it's like you, what's coming, what's coming out now. It's like, dude, was the, what you must've been just, you just didn't care. Like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's it's tough to think that, that it's it's if if I was in that position and I saw things happening and I didn't speak up at the time, I don't think I'm I'm pompous enough to speak up now. You know, a couple of years after I left the company, you know, like that's just I don't know. It's it's a, it's a bad situation. Um, but it, yeah, I think by not by not speaking up, I mean yeah, you're pretty much enabling it to continue all right all right you you condone you know, so, the activity around you and that's yeah. yeah it's completely insane i i i think i think if you go to it, it's it's weird to think like to me it's shocking that it happens on that level it's shocking that it mm -hmm. it happens with with these larger companies and then you know it does it makes you think like you know it it's how easily it could happen anywhere um it's a shame. It really is. And not just not just, you know, males and females like in this case, but dude, all kinds of, you know, and I, I think if you go to I think that's one thing Twitch is is good for. You know, I, I give Twitch a hard time about a lot of things, but um I am I am glad that Twitch gives us gives people the opportunity to create their own things and do their own things, but also create safe spaces for people to come and enjoy and not have to deal and and tolerate with stuff like that so um and I, th I think if you go to a lot of our channels most of us that are um streamers and you know furry and myself and you and you know a, a lot of the a lot of people in here i think i think you see that in their communities no matter how big or small they're usually usually pretty good places to hang out and not but yeah i just i don't know it reemphasizes the like I, you know i've got you know my daughters are coming up and it's like you know, my, my youngest is, is pretty sharp in engineering and math and science. And, you know, she's got potential to work for one of these places. And it's like, oh man, that's, that would not be good. I'd be good. I, I mean, and yeah, my oldest, it's like, she has her first year under her belt for computer science. Right. Because she right. wants to go into game development. Right. Right. 
and it's like I, yeah it's crazy that so it's so i so it'll be interesting to follow uh we'll keep an eye on it too like kind of kind of update that it'll be interesting to follow how the lawsuit comes out and and how so because you know let's be honest like the the people that were that were caught in that situation no no lawsuit's gonna gonna really fix any of that but you know it's not gonna make right. that any better you know but it'll be interesting to see how it comes out it, for sure it, it's just a shame that the the simplest of things can't occur a person can't just treat other people as human beings right and right be, and be decent human beings right another. Yeah. yeah it's it's a crazy world we live in for sure yeah. um and 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 a being from i i like to think i'm on the on the good side of things it's like i can't even wrap my head around how a person yeah would would act like like how some of these cases are right like, why, right what would even possess you to yeah to do that and not all right second guess yourself yeah. how, do, how do you yeah. how do you justify how do you rationalize that in your brain like treating and i don't care yeah. if it's a if it's a male or a female or you know any, uh, any sort of harassment yeah like how, how do you towards anyone how do you treat someone how do you treat another human being like that like i mean there's plenty of reasons to you know there's, there's, there's a lot of reasons to to not like other people like just just the simple basis of you're different than me is not not a good reason it's not good right like like i, I work with a lot of dumb people i got plenty of reason to hate them you know <laughs> i'm just kidding i'm just kidding i'm just kidding but no seriously if there's any coworkers in here i'm just kidding seriously kidding kidding no but i it's, trust me if if anything they're saying that about me so it's ferg knows ferg knows you know <laughs> but it's it's like i don't know man it's 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 crazy to think that we're still we're still dealing with some of this stuff. It's it's nuts, but uh, be curious to see how it goes. Uh, hopefully, hopefully uh, the rights are at least somewhat wronged. Yeah, I bet you could, but you can't tell them here. Or you that's, mean that's classified? Flip that. Yeah, flip flip that. The wrongs are somewhat are righted. Yeah, exactly. Like uh, like yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah that's were, that's were, what were, I meant. Were, yeah, were, that's, were, yeah, that's, that's what like, I yeah, meant. I like I want. That. Yeah, I want the rights to be wronged. No, I want. Uh, yeah, I really hope to see people that, you know, the people that do this, they 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 shouldn't they shouldn't get to. First off, it's a it's a joy to work in this industry, like to be in gaming and content creation. Like, dude, it's a dream job. And then, like, you you have there's no place for you. I don't care how talented you are. There's always someone more talented out there than you, and and or even not as talented, but willing to put in the effort and get there. And Exactly. You know, You're I, gonna be a toxic, I, terrible yeah. individual. Bye. Then. See you later. Yep. Yeah. No room for yep. you. No room for you yeah, in this industry work. or any industry. You know, it's like good luck. Um But yeah, no, uh that's that's about where I was at for tonight. That's about all I got. Yeah. That's right. There's always someone there to take your place. The second yep. you the second you sleep on it, man, it's it's over. Um and and if if it's easy to weed out the the jerks of the world so hopefully hopefully this process weeds out a few of them and then uh maybe yeah. we'll all get jobs at uh at blizzard or something okay. you know <laughs> i'm ready okay. i'm ready you guys call me let me know <laughs> that's right always a bigger fish yeah always a bigger fish always um oh, oh clay tonamore oh what's up that's raid. awesome Welcome. hey 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 well now Welcome. now now you got to give your closing statements because you know it's on you now yeah. buddy <laughs> yeah, you know, we gotta do the closest statements. That's good. Oh, thanks, thanks, Katana Moore. I appreciate it. Dude, no raids are tiny raids. All raids are this awesome. Is, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All raids are awesome. Every I, raid I is appreciate amazing. Appreciate you guys coming over. That's cool. Um, That's cool. But yeah, this is our this is our money. for for those of you who are new here. This is the OG Vodcast, the opinionated gamers, and we chat up video games and pop culture and geek culture. It's fun. So, it's a good we, time. Yep, we yep, we do this now. Now we'll be back on schedule every other Monday. Every other Monday. Yep. Back yep. back to and, it. But yeah, but yeah, I mean, yeah, I gotta I, I gotta say though, it's like we've we've covered quite the quite the range of topics tonight. Yeah, we did. We were all over the place. There yeah. was a lot of a lot of uh, TV and 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 uh nerd nerd shows and movies and we got into some games and and got oh, into yeah. some some real world issues too it was good it was good yeah it was fun oh th 
Thanks, Scotty. Yeah, appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks so much. Here. Absolutely. But, but yeah. yeah, yeah. So I gotta, I gotta say, so uh, I gotta start saving so I could buy my Mario sixty four sealed. Oh God, my my, my graded Mario sixty four. Yep. I, yep. And then we and then I'm, we burn it on stream. Yes. I, I might be ready. At, at the cost it's going, by the time I'm able, it's like I, I might be ready for retirement. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> Before I can afford that, but. I'll tell you, I, uh, I, one thing that did, I don't even think retirement, I could... <laughs> dude, there's no way. Like, I'm like, dude, I, a million bucks. And if you had a million bucks, would you spend it on that? I don't, ugh, exactly. ugh. there's no way. There's yeah. no way. Ugh. Not Mario 64. Yeah. Maybe Star Fox yeah. sealed, but <laughs> <laughs> maybe Star Fox 64. I, I don't know. No, I, uh, so one interesting thing I was, I will say, uh, Retro Palooza happened this past weekend. Uh, in oh, yeah. Austin, outside of Austin, I think it's near Houston, Austin, Houston. Anyways, it was in Texas somewhere, <laughs> and uh, but that gives me faith, right, dude? Maybe, maybe we get a TwitchCon this year, early next year, right, oh, dude? How awesome would that be? Like, I'm committing to it. I'm telling you right now, if TwitchCon next Twitch live TwitchCon happens, I'm going 100. Like, yeah. there's nothing's gonna stop me. This is gonna be yeah, awesome. I, wanna, I, I absolutely want to go as well. That would be cool, and then we'll do an OG podcast on site, like from TwitchCon. That would be really, be really cool to do. That, that would be that would be pretty sweet. Find a couple couches, yeah. set up the phones, and just just go nuts. That would be that would be cool. That would oh, be yeah. awesome. That'd be yeah, good. yeah. Twitch, Twitch, TwitchCon would be great. There's, I, I'm just ready for, I, and and I'm not even like a big convention goer, but. I'm ready for conventions. Oh yeah, to same here, there. same here. Because even even just all the news that comes out of them and yeah, I, I yeah, yeah. We've, we've been we've been needing this to come back. I'm, I'm ready. I I uh, I'd be honest if if we hadn't just gone on a trip, I didn't realize Retro Palooza was coming up. I might have gone like that. That would have been that would have been a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. But there'll be more throughout the year. Maybe I'd definitely try to hit Retro Palooza next year because that's not too far of a drive for us. Yeah, part part of me wants to hit um too many games. Yeah, uh, in, uh, over in Philadelphia. Oh yeah, that'll be That's, cool. It's, it's a it's a it's a trip for me, but it's not anything ridiculous. Sure, sure. And, That's and awesome. I'd love to go out there, especially because like the all the Cinemassacre guys will be out there. Oh stuff. yeah, yeah. You're video nerd. And, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. That'll be cool. Be cool. That'd be neat to neat to see. Go to yeah. like I like the panels and stuff too at, at the cons. Like it's fun seeing people yeah. seeing people out of their element or or even people that are like really knowledgeable talking about games and stuff that'd be fun oh yeah good. exactly get some get some in some uh i guess you would say like historian angle and in insider information right. about right about right some of these topics yeah yeah it would be very cool I, I met the video game historian at one of the uh one of our conventions we had down here that was really cool that was fun and the oh, game is. chasers I don't know if you ever seen the Game Chasers on YouTube. Yeah, I met them too. In fact, Jay from the Game Chasers, I the last con we had down here, I ended up hanging out with him like all night. We freaking we had a had a little bit to drink and uh yeah, I ended up staying up way too late. It was it was pretty awesome. Yeah. And the wife's like, I can't believe you didn't get a pick with him. I'm like, I don't know, I just wasn't thinking about it. Like <laughs> she gives me a hard time because I didn't get any pictures with him. But yeah, it was a cool dude. I'm of that, that kind of person too to where it's like uh, that's usually the farthest thing on my mind yeah like i'm just hanging yeah. out like oh this, this dude's <laughs> kind of cool yeah yeah let's get a, let's get a pick but it's yeah like, I don't know. I, if i guess i guess part of that comes from my background of uh when i was doing stuff with the radio station to all right go see bands and yeah, yeah. greets and stuff yeah, yeah is i'm back there before they even go to where the fans get to do the meet and greet Right, you know, talk, talking with the band members and stuff to where it's like that's cool. I feel awkward, like, yeah, to be like, yeah, it's, it's like this is their safe space. I'm like, I don't need to be like, hey, let me get a photo. Can I, get <laughs> right, right. I, 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 I don't, don't want to be that, be that person. Uh, I seen, I seen I, pictures of Pixel oh, with ICP and a clown mask on, it was crazy. It was not. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have I don't have pics with ICP, but I did where for Halloween where me and my one of my other DJ partners we did do the face paint and stuff. That's so, crazy. That's that awesome. Pic. That's I'll awesome. I, I'll, nice. I'll, I'll, I'll post that in Discord. Or something. That's awesome. Yeah, that's really cool. Yeah, I no and Jay Jay wasn't like super celebrity status to me. It was more like just hanging out, talking video games and stuff. 
Uh, like, uh, don't get me wrong. If if Harrison Ford is like, you know, at a hotel or something, be like, hey man, can you get a picture? Like, you know, I'm, I'm probably gonna ask him, right? But like, I don't know. I don't know. The J, the J guy. It would just we were BSing about video games and all kinds of stuff. It was it was cool. It was good. That's, That's awesome. Cool yeah, I could see that. Yeah, because Nashville is Nashville is crazy. Like, like there would be all kinds of people just going down the street and like, yeah, that that would get a little bothersome. I could see. Yeah, you don't you don't look like a tourist. You know, it's crazy. Oh yeah, no, I know I know shamans harvest. Wow, that's cool. Yeah, that's pretty that's awesome. Really cool. Pretty neat. I got to I got to um <laughs> at one of the shows that that we were at that the station hosted. It was uh, fuel with uh, three days grace. Nice, nice. And I remember at the after party, I remember the hotel, like hotel bar club area and stuff. I remember them kicking out the lead singer of Three Days Grace. Nice, nice. He got out of hand. Ah, that's awesome. <laughs> Something we we're sitting there, we're like near near their area, and, stuff, and then all of a sudden things just popped off. And then, <laughs> there, there, Hey, there he goes. Oh, and he's out. Nice. Yep. <laughs> we saw uh, we saw Vanilla Ice uh, down a fifth of Jaeger and then get kicked off stage for calling everyone uh, really bad names on the loudspeaker. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> it was it was not good. And then the uh, I think state troopers ended up taking him off stage. And he went into oh, cool, his man. trailer with like six or seven females. So I'm I'm not sure what they were up to, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. He, 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 he wasn't so heartbroken about. <laughs> no, I think I think he was just done with his set and wanted to get off stage. <laughs> Someone get me out of here. <laughs> that was his code word, probably. <laughs> I know that's freaking yeah. awesome. Yeah, I I gotta I gotta meet DJ Pixel one day. That's that's awesome. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I miss, yeah. I miss those days. Right, right. But, I mean, but you, you hear it's, yeah. like it's one of those things. Dude, times change too. Right, like right. It, it 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 just evolved away from that right era. All right, of fun. But. Bad Wolf, I think you're right. I think he put the bottle of Jaeger down and pulled out Pokemon cards. It was something in his wallet. It looked like a card. I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure you're right. Nailed it. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. Yep. He's like, come on, come on, ladies. Yeah. Here, check out ladies. Pokemon cards. <laughs> Let me show you my Pikachu. <laughs> come on in. <laughs> Yeah, it was good. It was good. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> oh jeez. Yep. I knew. I knew that's where we're going. Ladies and gentlemen, as we, as, as, we, as we start going off the rails. Yep. Yeah, and that and that's a wrap. Thanks for hanging out this week. Yes. We've been we've been the slightly borderline, somewhat offensive uh, OG podcast. Thanks for being here. <laughs> we, were, we were very opinionated today. <laughs> that's right. We were we, we walked the line. Yep. A stop. Collaborate and Pokemon. <laughs> crazy <laughs> completely insane um all right so yeah it'll be uh it'll be two weeks so not next monday but the monday after uh yep. we will be back talking about all kinds of fun gaming news if you have topics you'd like to talk about if you plan on being here both of our discords uh exclamation point discord in the chat both our discords have uh sections where you can you can go in there and uh drop drop suggestions uh shane gave us a good one we talked about the last time talking about fighting games and stuff so anything you want to talk about or feel like getting into definitely uh hop in the discords and give us some suggestions because we're always open to that um yeah yeah I, it's it's always fun uh with you guys being involved i really appreciate everybody coming in uh, and hanging out it's it's always funner chatting with you guys because i can tell pixel he's wrong all day but having you guys do it makes me feel so much better yeah, it really does yeah it's so good it's so good yeah <laughs> but no no thanks a lot i i do appreciate it man it was this was this was good yeah thank you everybody for hanging out and yeah just the same i mean drop those topics in discord and as well i mean if you can join us live because as, as you see it's like we want you guys to be part of the conversation 100 percent. that's what makes it fun makes it enjoyable yeah yeah thanks for hanging out for yeah you guys stick around we're gonna we're gonna uh pause the screen but we're gonna raid somebody so hang out and uh stick with us and uh we'll go see it but uh yeah see you back here in uh back here in two weeks